And we are live. Welcome to Fresh Fit Podcast After Hours Edition, guys. We're joined with a full panel. Let's get it. Let's get it. If you want to get off, if you want to leave, you, you, you're more than welcome. I leave. asked you to stop with the question and you didn't. Do you get want out, me that's to leave? Serious, the f- out. Put your shoes on outside. You don't got to put them on in here. I know the night is not as it would seem. I must believe in something so I'll make myself believe it. It's my dream. All right, guys, all right. welcome back. We're we back. We are live. Okay, so uh, quick announcements, guys. Patreon.com slash Fresh Fit. You guys can get all the behind-the-scenes content that you can't find anywhere else. Yep. Me kicking out annoying girls, Zoom calls, everything is there. Patreon.com slash Fresh Fit. And the X-rated uh, episodes we yeah, can't put so on YouTube. Yeah, stuff that you can't, yeah, stuff that we definitely can't show y'all on YouTube. We'll get banned if we aren't going to get banned anyway. <laughs> we'll see what we're talking about. And then uh, also, guys, we are on Spotify, Google, and Apple Podcasts, every platform you guys listen to podcasts. We are there. Yep. Just make sure to click the anchor link below, and it'll take you to your destination of choice. Uh, you know, whether you like to listen to us on Spotify, the bigger platforms, or the smaller ones like CastBox, we're there. Check us out. Uh, and anchor, okay. Dot FM, I think fresh and fit is the, but the links below. G- grab it. Guys, and also guys, get the merch, merch, man. Podcast store dot com. Uh where we got the hoodies, t shirts. I'm wearing the I feel like t shirt, the iconic quote that many girls say before they're about to tell you something. I feel like. I feel uh, like <laughs> so yeah, that's sh- shirts are in stores right now. All the merch is there, guys. The Who Hurt You shirts, all that other stuff is there. So check us out there, fresh podcast store dot com. And then also uh, Fresh, you want to tell about your vlog channel? Guys, for behind the scenes, man, of our lives, off camera, on camera, regarding, uh, I'll, I'll say the podcast area, check it out. The vlog channel is right there, going up, 50K on the way, let's get it. And then also, guys, we got a Clips channel as well. Fresh, can you, uh, Chris, can you pull that up as well? Yeah. Uh, we got a Clips channel, because guys, let's be honest, you guys might not have two to three hours to watch the full podcast, which but is fine. We 10 understand minutes, that. five minutes. Yeah, you got 10, 15, 20 minutes, whatever it is. We got clips of all different uh, sizes here. Uh, you know, best parts of the show, whether it's me kicking out girls or, you know, where we, someone makes a point or some crazy shit, whatever it is, it's all there, you know. Misogyny. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so it's all there on the Fresh Fit Clips channel. Just make sure to subscribe because about 75% of people that watch the channel are not subscribed to the channel. So, guys, hit that big red it's button. It's free, man. Come on, guys. Content. Um, and then because you're watching anyway, clearly. And then also, guys, we're on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Fresh Podcast. Check us out over there where you guys can see everything in 1080p to include the girls' titties. And then also, Chris is on Twitch as well. Yes, uh, speaking of Twitch, uh, Aaron C. Poxon, or Aaron Poxon, actually. Uh, follow me on Twitch, pre show, post show interviews with the girls. Uh, let's get it. Shout out to the Merch Gang, Chair Gang. We out here. <laughs> Merch and Chair Merch Gang. Chair gang. <laughs> <laughs> and then also, guys, for any video topics, go ahead and DM our uh, audio engineer slash YouTube strategist, Trade Talk Sports. He yep. probably won't respond to your DM and or accept your follow request because he's antisocial. He don't even talk to us. So that's a whole other thing. <laughs> and then ladies that want to come on the show. Yes, uh, DM me and Aaron C. Poxon on IG. Make sure your page is not private. And uh, if you're flying out, being flued out, or <laughs> have a boyfriend or a husband, Bring them with you, please. And uh, speaking of boyfriends, uh, shout out to uh, Colorado in the house. Uh, she came here with her boyfriend in the house. Oh, so, there you go. Uh, yeah, just make sure you guys uh, book in advance and let me know. We out here. Cool. cool. Um, and then also, guys, we got a new Instagram, Fresh and Fit 305, because we got hacked before, but they can't stop us. So uh, And follow the girls, too. Oh, yeah. And then we got Fresh Fit Podcast Girls. Yeah. Um, that is our Instagram. And for they're the all ladies. tagged in the story as well on yes, Instagram. They're tagged in yep. the story, and then they're also in the description box. And uh, yeah, other than that, um, let's get into the show, I guess. So, uh, ladies, the ladies, give us your name, your age, your social, where you work at, <laughs> who's your parents. Not just kidding. Body count. But, like, uh, your name, your age, what you do for a living, and your current dating status. We'll start right here. Um, my name is Miranda. I'm single. For work, I am developing an application. What was the other question you asked? I don't remember. What, what you do for work? Basically, an app? I literally just said that. Cool. Awesome. Good job. <laughs> Like Wait, what, what kind of app are you developing? Dating app? Uh, I'm technically not allowed to say. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. It's a, it's a, it's classified. All right, yes. fair enough. Nice. Okay. All right, my name is Talia. Uh, occupation, me and my friend, we have a podcast. It's at the Get Cozy Podcast. Follow us on Instagram, Twitch, all that stuff. And then I am 20, and yeah, I'm single. Cool. Welcome back. Welcome Thank back. You. Hello, everybody. My name is Zola. Um... 
I am 26, and uh, what was it? I'm single, and what I do for <laughs> <laughs> and what I do for a living is I'm actually a student as well as I'm a bottle girl. Mm. Okay, cool. All right, you want to oh. say you want to say what, what club or no? What club? I'm not going to say what club, but I also do want to mention is I'm also a DJ and I, I actually run a business. I'm a soap business. Oh, okay. nice, cool. Yeah. All right, our spring. <laughs> slow jams in the house. Hey guys, it's Slow Jams, aka Maya. I'm 23, still 23. Jordan year. Um, I'm a rapper. Please check out my music video I just dropped two hours ago. It's a really dope music video. I edited it myself, directed all my videos, everything. So watch it, enjoy it, and watch all of them. I don't know. You might need Jergens. You might not. I saw it on Instagram. It was actually very, very well done. <laughs> oh, thanks. <laughs> it was very well done. Yeah, she's pretty good. Yeah. She's pretty good. I, I did not know. That's very impressive that you directed it yourself. Oh, thanks. Yeah, very creative. I like the, the, the glass thing with the yeah, shoes on the bottom. Yeah, thank you. Were those black Air Forces? Yeah, I was trying to give them. Yo, <laughs> dirty ass niggas, bro. Yeah. Dirty, yeah. dirty no. That's that's how you know. She from Miami, Force for real, for real. She was wearing uh-huh. black Air Forces. Holy shit! I almost shit. put on grills, but I was like, let me chill. <laughs> <laughs> okay. My name is Jess. I'm 22. I'm a college student, and I'm single. Cool. Okay. Uh, my name is Noel. I'm a YouTuber. You can follow me at Noelian N O E L L E A N, um, and I'm single. All right, welcome back. All right. Wait, did you have 100K yet? No. Bruh. Stupid. It's hard right, to get to that 100K. It's not that easy. I'm stuck at that 90 for like the longest time. When's the last time you posted? Last week. That's why. Stupid. <laughs> All right. <laughs> every day, man. Double stupid you, grind. You know we're going to roast you every time you come Facts. on here. Every time. So, oh, and then actually, you know what? Since we got another content creator in the house, when's the last time you posted a podcast? Uh, last Sunday. We post every Sunday. Stupid. Okay. okay. <laughs> I'm in school. I ha- I'm busy. Oh, oh, I'm in school. You don't, you don't oh. say. Oh, here come oh. the excuses. Okay, hold on. I think I got a sound effect for that one. Here we go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. So, uh, what about you? Um, I'm Jair. I'm 25, and my occupation is I work with dental insurance. Cool. cool. All right. Awesome. Welcome to the show. Are you single? Welcome. Taken? I'm taken. Happily taken. <laughs> All right. Shout yeah. out to yeah. Her man's <laughs> is in the studio right now. <laughs> <laughs> Had to make so sure. She's safe. Uh, she's safe. Uh, capital. Hey, and guys, uh, do us a quick favor and uh, like the video. There's already 2,000 of you guys in here. So yeah. you guys could be anywhere else, but you watch those slides. So thank you so much. Like the goddamn video because after yesterday's episode, I definitely lost some hair follicles. It was so bad. Some of you guys that missed it, I had to kick out five girls off the show yesterday because they kept <gasps> interrupting and being annoying. It was and wild, it was the worst. bro. Yeah, and they were virgins from uh yeah North, North Miami. Virgins. I'm like, bro, they were claiming that they were virgins, bro. Yeah, I know. It was like seriously. Stop the cap. But whatever. Yo, yo Tafia was like Sweetwater. Yeah, <laughs> shout, shout out Tafia, man. Hey, shout out to Tafia, man. That was a great episode with him yesterday, man. Yeah. Um. Okay, we got uh Mr. Williams here. Five bucks, man. Yesterday was a troll entertaining though. I just want to say, being a gent has nothing to do with chivalry or women. It's code for style, mind, and money. Okay? Cool. And then uh, five bucks for Mr. Williams. Again, Fresh, thanks for putting me on One Piece. It's up there with One uh, one Punch, Man, AOT, and Invincible Butt. Shout out to Chat, Crew, Sud, the Dude, the OGs, Jose, Wolf, and Demon. Okay? Yeah, that's a pretty good anime, bro. Check it out. Spice Gang, uh, 20 bucks. Watch your Tallahassee, 24th birthday tomorrow. Can I get a shout out? Chasing my childhood dream of getting into to the NFL. Have my first professional arena ball trial in about four months. Been grinding hard. Love the channel. Hey, man. Shout keep to you, going. Bro. Happy birthday to you, my Lesson friend. to you on your birthday, bro. Slow Jam's going to need a W2 by year's end. <laughs> Serious, <laughs> Mr. Williams. All right. 20. And then 20 bucks, uh, ZK of um, Omricorn? Um, uh, I got a point. Micron? Plus, so I'm blind. Hey, y'all. What's the upside to living in Miami? Is it just for the beach and partying? Seems like every night the ladies talk about how dating scene sucks. And y'all have said before people are worse than New Yorkers. Mm. That's, uh, We're actually, we said that people are yeah, ruder here than ruder. New Yorkers. But yeah. um, but no, nah, man, Miami's good because it's, it's a relatively cheaper city to live in compared to other major cities. Yeah. You know, it's cheaper than Boston, cheaper than New York City, cheaper than L.A. Better lifestyle. Cheaper than Chicago. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's a good place to be. The weather is nice and there's no state income taxes. But yeah, taxes. the negative is, yeah, you're going to deal with some... Uh, some bitchy ass girls, but hey, it is what it is, man. You know, you're gonna deal with attractive girls. That's what comes with the territory, my friend. Uh, vibe with Tay Rax, uh, ten bucks. What's good? F and F. Much respect. Keep up the grind. Also, y'all should look into purchasing properties in Milwaukee. They hella cheap here. Plenty are three to ten k. All you have to do is fix them and profit. I like yeah. turnkeys, man. Yeah. Uh, well, my real estate investing. I don't like you know doing fixers and flippers. Like fuck that shit. Too much work. Uh, and then I don't have a, I don't we, have anyone we don't, there in Milwaukee. We don't have anybody there in Milwaukee. To yeah, manage a forest. So exactly. It's like, so it's like yeah. yeah. Venom two three three. Hey SJ, you're almost as cute as me. Oh here we go. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, What's your Instagram? Yeah. My Instagram is slow.gems, S L O W dot J A M S. Please follow it. Check out my music video. Thank all right, you. Go send all your dick pics over there. Yep, exactly. <laughs> uh, so, uh, Brandon Martin, all the way from Canada. Question for ladies How do you find out about FNF and why are you on the show? Also, for the algo, been here since 60K. Keep doing your thing. Thank you so much, bro. We're almost at 430,000 subscribers. Thanks. So you've been here since day one, pretty much. Michelle98. J, what's up, sis? SJ. Oh, SJ. Oh. Okay, all right. And then 50 bucks. Fran Civil. The RP Rage video was fire. Guys, please listen to the message and focus on yourself. Our community has the wrong impression of what a high-value man is. Keep cooking, Myron Fresh and Chris. So mad fun. respect. Thank you. Hey, bro. Nick Lima, five bucks. Myron, this may be a theoretical question, but what's your response to women who tell men to get in touch with their feminine side and does it exist? Um, <laughs> sir? Nope. And that's definitely... Stop the cap. No, don't do that shit, man. Women are not designed to handle you being feminine and emotional. Yeah, shit, don't tell her they don't work. All your problems, bro. That's that's a dub. Yeah, that's 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 Cap City one right there. She'll tell you, oh, tell me your problems, please. Like, I, I want you to be vulnerable with me. And then you tell her, she's gonna be like, oh, you're a fucking bitch. And then she's gonna <laughs> suck somebody else's dick. You don't Facts. want that. Sean Idris. Like the video, guys. City boys, we up. Facts. Yeah. 50, 15 bucks from Billy Sia. On the principle that a woman's beauty is her primary currency, all of the ladies on the pod are usually gorgeous. For the twos and threes, what are they able to bring to the table? That's a question to all. <laughs> Bro, what the fuck, dude? <laughs> Hopefully a sandwich. Uh, Steve <laughs> Valdez. <laughs> Something. F and F, did you see how Bitcoin just 58,000? We're almost, uh, we're at an all-time high. Let's make some money, boys. Facts. Nice. I, I got beat. Crypto to the moon, man. JJ, five bucks. Ladies, how long is it uh, too long to wait to call a uh, bish after smashing? Oh, that's yo, a, I got a good answer. Actually, hold on, yeah. You, let's go on a panel real quick. I got a good answer. How long is it, sh should a guy respond to you after smashing? Wait, no, how, wait, how long is too wait? To, yeah, co I, to call a girl. Yeah, to call a girl. Yeah. Okay. How long is that? Uh, it's, it's too long. Don't call Too well, <laughs> so, 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 so hold on. Yeah. You're going on a date with him, right? Mm -hmm. He had a great time. You smash. Mm -hmm. When should he call you? The next morning. The next morning? <laughs> yes. What about you? Mm -hmm. Do not call me ever again. <laughs> oh shit! Okay. Oh, shit. God damn. So you you just smash and dash or what? <laughs> no. Um. Don't call. Like text or something. Just say hey. Oh. Know. Okay. All right. Yeah, all right. So you, it's not the communication. It's the form of communication that bothers you. Yeah. I don't. I don't like calls out of nowhere. Oh. Uh, okay. You're quite the talker, so I can see why you hate phone calls. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a. I'm quite the talker. Yeah. It's, sar a, it's sarcasm. Sarcasm. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> Okay. Okay. Right. Yeah, stupid. Okay. <laughs> I'm kind of the same way. Like, I'd rather not you call me the next morning. I'd rather just text. So. Yeah. So no. So no Facetime. Uh, no, I don't do calls. I'm just like. Mm. I'd rather pics? just do person. <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't like dick pics. They're fucking gross. But it could be practice for your podcast that you never post anyway. Yeah. <laughs> I do post. It's every Sunday. Once a week. Yeah. But we're also doing vlogs. We just got a videographer on Monday. So okay. we're going to start doing vlogs. Good, today. good, good. good, good. Mm -hmm. I need one of those too. Shit. Okay. Well, what about okay. you? Uh, what's um, How soon is too soon or um, too long? I'm going to say, like, honestly, perhaps like the next day. But I'm the type of person who's like, if we just linked or whatnot, Bryce, when you're in your car, you better hit me up. Wait. Mm -hmm. In Wait. the car? No, like, <laughs> when you're leaving, uh -huh. hit me up. But um, honestly, I'll just take the next day. Oh, so as soon as he's leaving your spot, he's got to hit yeah. you up. Hey, girl. I'm you, think, you thinking about me. Oh, okay. All yeah. Right. <laughs> okay. Um, do you like good morning text, too? Yeah. You're one it's of those cool. weirdos. Uh. Okay. Oh. Fair enough. <laughs> All right. Routine, man. All right, Routine. Fair enough. Uh, Miss Jess I feel like it's very March. situational mm -hmm. like you have to read the vibe you know if it's weird then no I don't want you <laughs> calling me the next day obviously I don't know I feel like it definitely depends mm -hmm. it's definitely I'm different. curious how could it be weird like tell me like an example of how it could be weird like it wasn't good if sex if you go on a date with someone and it just like does not go well you know what I mean no but he smashed though yeah, but like, mm. <laughs> it's just not no. Okay, so no phone calls. I'd. I nope. feel like immediately after, don't call. I text. I feel like that's more appropriate. Text again. Okay, okay. text again, okay. guys. Okay. Please merch. All right, and you can ignore them if you need to. You know? mm. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, I think texting is probably best. But yeah, uh, I don't think right after. Give it some time, like an hour or two. Let it soak in. Let her think about it or something. If it was bad, 
you could take your time. <laughs> a long time. <laughs> okay. Um, I feel like next March. day do a call. <laughs> mm. And then for, like, send a text when you get home. Like, when you make it home, you know, like, I'm really big on, like, letting me know you made it home. You know, mm. you ain't got to say nothing else. Just, yeah. That's fair. I'm curious, though. Your boyfriend. Yeah. The first night y'all did it, did he call you next day or, or <laughs> right after? What was it? Um, I don't know. We've been high school sweethearts, so I don't know. That's Aww. like a long time. <laughs> BBC, we up. <laughs> <laughs> Dark skin niggas winning, bro. <laughs> All, right, um, All right. Cool. Yeah. I mean, guys, the takeaway from this is you guys yeah. saw there was a bunch of different answers here. Let's translate the woman for you guys. Don't call them back. Don't hit don't. them back up. Let them hit you up, guys. Yeah, exactly. The real talk. That's uh, that's what you should do after you, and look, you smash. If she don't hit you up. <laughs> And you smash, bro. You already know what time it is. Yep, you know she, belong, uh, she belongs to the street. Right there, there my friend. There you go, bro. So uh, yeah, so you let her hit you back up, guys. Um, D nice five bucks. Love Noel and slow jams. Okay, ten dollars from Black Scorpion super sticker. Thank you so much. Good luck. Lovely panel of ebony ladies. Okay, that's from Daryl Blake. Uh, <laughs> We got some. Yeah, I guess. yeah. we, we, we got some vanilla here, bro. Versus, versus, versus we got flavor here, bro. What you <laughs> mean? Quizzy, uh, ten bucks. Uh, what the hell, girl next to Myra looks like she's out of the nineties. It's trippy as fuck. <laughs> you got a rebuttal for that? No? Okay, she said fuck you, bro. <laughs> and then uh, we got one in, 115 all the way from Australia, 15 bucks. Hey, Fresh I'm in a band from Melbourne, Australia, and due to no gigs, we want to do a live stream. Is there any possible way to ch chat to see you how you guys do the live streams? Oh, that's going to cost you a lot of money, my yeah, friends. Yeah, bro. If you want us to go over our setup and all that Sheesh. other stuff with you. Uh, Isaac Landis, $10. Myron, ask questions for the ladies who manipulate more <laughs> men or women. <laughs> <laughs> no. Not again, bro. Last thing was crazy. No. I don't want to go. But that's, that was what the, the, we had like no. a 45 minute debate on who manipulates more men or women. And I was saying women manipulate more. And then they kept trying to say men do. And I was like, bro. They both do, but women do it better. Dope. <laughs> Right. Okay. I don't want to have this conversation. <laughs> okay. I'm having bad deja vu. Yeah. Well, yesterday, <laughs> women no. manipulate three hours men live stream. Bro. Three hours, bro. Yeah. Like, oh god. Jeez. Okay. Uh, five bucks from Osa Soul. Uh, Fresh girlfriend says, right, really reaping the benefits of just being pretty right now. Bless her soul. That BBC got her playing. Follow the leader. <laughs> <laughs> first of all, first of all, I'm single. She's single. I know. I know what you're talking about, bro. Mm. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> wait. Is that? Wait. Were you and his what? Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. They can chill out. Oh, I've been waiting for this one. Okay. <laughs> Slippery beats five bucks. Space jams is always a good Nigga, because you tried to put me on blast yesterday, nigga. You, you time to. I got him. Oh, 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 oh man. Bitch. Okay. What are you talking about, bro? Space jams is always a special guest. Welcome back to the show. All right. And then 10 bucks. Red is bad. I'm trying to figure out if she got credentials to get flued out. Myron, can you ask her to stand up and do a spin for us? Oh, uh, shit. Who's red? Uh, the oh, one no, no. Hey, Talia. Oh, the oh. only red haired girl. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, okay. red. it's up to you. I but mean, they want to see a spin to yeah. I mean, fly I'm you wearing, up. I'm wearing sweatpants. Yeah, she is. Uh, yeah, she's she's dressed <laughs> like she's about to go to a, a video I mean, game land party right now. <laughs> yeah. I mean, she, she I got a little something. Huh? Borderlands. Wait, what? No. Borderlands? Borderlands? Well, that's just trash. That's just trash. Okay, hold on. Look. What's your Instagram? So they uh, uh, Lolic Talia. L O L L I C H T A L I A. She's a cool person, guys. Yeah, cool. We, we 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 roast her, but she's she's a good. Person. Colorado vibes. Pennywise, yes. Finding Nemo girl. Yeah, you Wait, know. Wait, they called you Pennywise? Yeah, last show where you kick the other girls out. They call me Pennywise. Oh, <laughs> <What the> fuck. <laughs> okay. I have a big ass forehead, so it's okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just roasting myself, but it's okay. Yo. Oh man. Uh, here's a good question: Who claims to be independent? If you are, should you be able to answer the questions yourself instead of having another woman speak for you? Okay, uh, that's from TSK907. And then, um, so, okay, let's get into the first question. Yeah, yeah. And then, uh, Chris, from here on what? Uh, 10 and up. 10 and up. 10 All right, up, so yeah. we'll read the rest that are there now. I see one, two, five dollar super chats. We'll read you guys, don't worry. And then a Canadian one for six ninety nine. So we got y'all, but from this point forward, we're going to read 10 and up. But guys, thank you so much. Like the video, comment below. Well, after the show's done, comment <laughs> for the algorithm. So uh, go ahead. So off top, ladies, right? Have you all been to college? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Tell us. One of the craziest stories you ever had in college at a party. Like something that happened that was crazy, lit, whatever, threesome, I don't know, orgy. You tell me what it really is, but like whatever happened at a party that was crazy. Just random. We'll start right here. Um, I've only been to technical college and I never really went to college parties. Yeah. Never? Never. All right, boring. Next. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Um, I went to HBCU and you know like the the Q dogs. So mm. you know how like they go around in a circle and they start you know what I'm saying? The the smallest one, like the midget. 
pick me up and started like bouncing me in front of everybody and licking sour cream off. Not sour cream. What was it? Whipped cream off me and people was recording. It was embarrassing. Oh, wow. it was a mix. What the fuck? Oh my god! Going on? Out of all people, I had the, the really small, tiny one. He picked you up. Yeah. Damn. How, how tall was he? Like four foot something. Oh, that's real, comedy. Real tiny. Wow. Yeah. All right. That's you random. all let him too. It's embarrassing. A little power drill. I, huh? He's a big little, a big little man. <laughs> <laughs> so he don't know what to do. Okay. Hey guys, for those of the, those of you that are wondering, that stands for uh, historically black college. Yeah. Is, uh, what, which what school? A A M U. Okay. Yeah. All right. Where, where was that? At? Georgia. Where? No, um, Alabama. Alabama. Okay. Yeah. All right. Cool. Cool. I honestly don't know. Like I wish I had I a better answer. I was blackout when it happened. Yeah, you're too lit. <laughs> no, literally. Like <laughs> I've been in college for five years. I feel like I would have a better answer. Oh, so you were a super senior. <laughs> I'm a fifth year. <laughs> super. You're what? Don't worry about it. <laughs> well, why, 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 why did it take you five years? <laughs> because I transferred schools. Mm. Uh, That's why. That's always a bitch. Okay, so where'd you start and then where'd you transfer to? I went to the University of South Carolina my freshman year. Okay. And then I transferred to Temple University in oh, Philly. God. Okay. Oh, God. Uh, so <laughs> you're, you're definitely a night writer. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! You know what that means, right? No. You bang black guys. What? <laughs> okay, there we go. That's yeah. a yes, my friends. <laughs> so for all you guys out there in the chat, name Jamal and Kareem. Go ahead and send a DM to Instagram. Shout out to my guys. Dark skin niggas winning, man. David, say, say, shout out to David Hasselhoff. <laughs> uh, okay, cool. Uh, Temple University is actually like the most <laughs> has the biggest uh, fun little fact for you guys because I was gonna go there. Um, Where are you from? I'm from Connecticut originally. Oh. But uh, Tem Temple and uh, Northeastern was where I was going to go. And Temple accepted me, but I was, because I also transferred. But uh, I, I like looked at the area that it's in. It's in North Philly. And uh, I was like, yeah, nah. It's a very dangerous what area. They have yeah. the biggest co collegiate police force uh, in the country, Temple University. Did you ever get robbed yeah, while you're there? As they should. Yeah, did you ever get robbed while you're there? No. Like, okay. only she guys went there too. Robbed, and really. You what? Only the guys get robbed. Yeah. Only the guys. Okay. The girls get like stabbed and raped. <laughs> what the? Oh, oh, no, 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 no. I don't Bro, know what? anyone who like we will walk around like at night, girl, you have alone. I've Spigot never penis, had any no, issues at Temple. Spigot I feel penis. like it gets personally, such a bad never, rep. No, no, no. Personally, we've never had like bad experiences. But if you have the citizen app, like all day long, you just hear like. Bing, 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 bing. I mean, oh, I definitely wow. fall asleep to gunshots, but like... Yeah. <laughs> Fireworks, <It's normal. laughs> shots, you never know. Yeah, no, that's, that's in a rough weird. area. That's why I was like, I ain't, I ain't going. Um, all right, well, I'll, I'll tell you this. If they try to rob you, give me your money. I uh, have none. <laughs> 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 um, you can have the I'd get mad. I'd be like, God account, damn it, babe. fuck this shit. Imagine you try to hear a robber. You go, hey, run your money. <laughs> What uh, money? <laughs> what money? Uh, <laughs> damn it, give me the money! I actually think about that uh, all the time. Like, when I would walk my dog, I was like, what would I do right now if someone tried to rob me? I would be like, yo, you got the wrong bitch right now. Go rob somebody else. <laughs> so, so, wait, you'd actually talk back to him? No, I really, I don't give she a fuck. She would, like, I point really to someone would. else, be like, look. Or if you're walking home <laughs> no. drunk, I'm like, what do I have to lose at this point? Like, oh let's God. just <laughs> fucking go for it. Let's talk back. Uh, run your shit! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> wrong, wrong girl, wrong girl. <laughs> wrong girl. This hurts I like, you see that guy down the, the street over there? He definitely has more than me. Like, go <laughs> after him. <laughs> He's stumbling around. I'm like, not me. <laughs> <laughs> you can't win. <laughs> I can see that. I'm out, guys. <laughs> okay, slow, slow chance. What about you? Uh, never went to a college party. Never? Mm -mm. What? Stop the cow. <laughs> That's Wait. Okay. A party in Miami, though. A party in Miami? I've been to a lot of parties in Miami, but not no college parties. I've been to a college concert, but not a college party. Any stories at all? No, I don't have any. I wouldn't have believed her, but then after I saw that music video of her wearing black Air Forces, I was like... Yeah, <laughs> okay, I can tell you, I went to this <laughs> look. Yeah, okay, I'll right. tell you this. I went to this one party about <laughs> yeah. a year ago. This guy was trying to sign me. I guess it was college girls there. So this girl came to the our signing party. Mm-hmm. And she, yo, she was on the couch. She's at Airbnb. This is important. She at Airbnb. So she's sitting on the couch and she's like, you know, turning up, dancing. Out of nowhere, she falls asleep. I'm like, okay, this bitch drunk. <laughs> so she just passed out. Then she woke up. She started crying. She's like, I want some dick. I'm like, I looked at her. I'm in rapper mode. I'm not in dancer mode. I'm in rapper mode. I'm like, oh and my homeboys who signing me, I'm like, I think y'all need to handle that because she's talking about she wants some dick. Mm -hmm. So, she went back to sleep. I don't know what she did upstairs. Came back downstairs. 
and she just threw up all over the Airbnb carpet, oh, TV. Like, damn. I left fast as shit because I'm not finna pay that bill. But mm-hmm. that's the first time I went to a party and something crazy like that. I never heard a girl scream that she wants penis. I never heard that. Like, especially drunk and throw up all over the ground. Well, that's why you go to I parties mean, in college. <laughs> it happens all the time. Man. No cap. Yeah. Okay. That's random as fuck, but yeah. I'm sorry. I don't really have any stories regarding about like college parties or so. Okay, so never been to college. You're yeah. a DJ, right? Yeah, I. I any any crazy stuff you saw like in parties, uh, DJing? Anything you saw? I was like, what the fuck? VIP. You got you got got something there. I can't think of any at this moment, but um, I've been in college, and uh, honestly, I've been to college parties, but I haven't seen nothing like crazy, like not no orgies or anything like that. Where'd you go to school? Lame University I, or what? Listen, <laughs> I went to school at FAU. FAU? Okay. Yeah. That's, that's in Florida. I'm trying yeah, to think. That's in FAU. Boca. Where's that at? That's yeah, in Boca. Boca. Yeah. Yeah, school trash. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Next. Yeah. <laughs> um, my two f- my my two friends. My friend lost her two front teeth. Um we were oh, like <laughs> Yeah, we were in Colorado and we were like in this dirt parking lot because there's nothing to do in Colorado. And so we were just like it was kind of like college people. We're all going to college because I haven't been to a college party yet because COVID and I haven't been able to experience like my whole college experience. But anyways, so we were in like this dirt parking lot and we we're all, you know, a little swifty. And my friend and my other friend, they were doing like a piggyback ride. And the guy that was on the bottom and then the girl was on the top. That sounded wrong. But anyways, so he like threw his head back and her like two front teeth went boosh. And then um, she was bleeding. Uh, his name his name is Junior. But he came over running to me and he was like, Talia, there's two front teeth in my fucking head. And I look over and there's like really like my friend's teeth in her head. And yeah, in his head. So it was pretty crazy. Finish her. Yeah. God damn. <laughs> you can, Holy like, shit. You can see like her roots and all that stuff. And she didn't get a root canal until like three days later. Damn. Yeah. Y'all, eat, y'all niggas eating food right now? Sorry. <laughs> I know. Sorry, y'all niggas. Yeah. <laughs> damn. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Some it's final destination mm. shit. Yeah. yeah. It was pretty crazy. Ouch. Okay. Fair enough. What about you? I wouldn't say like the t- uh, actual parties were that crazy. But in Philly, you just see so much shit when you walk home. <laughs> like... The homeless men will like do backflips off the cars, and they were like, "Yo, hold my chicken <laughs> salad while I like do a flip real quick." And you're like, "Okay, like motorcycles," and you'll just like hop on the back of a motorcycle, take a lap. They'll like drop you back off. Uh, so it's not really the parties; it's just like what you see on the streets over there. Yeah. Okay. Then real quick, <laughs> go back around. How do you guys choose who to date in college, or like back then? Like, what made you say, you know what, this guy, you know what, he's hot, he's attractive, I want to date him. What do you look for in college? Start. I'm sorry. Yeah. And it, it's always going to go back and forth between yeah. who started last time. So I don't like this question. Um, I don't know. I had a boyfriend in college for like the first two years. And I honestly don't even have an answer to that question because I don't know why I dated him. So next. <laughs> it just happened? <laughs> no. Yeah. I don't know. I think like maybe it was just like fell into my lap and I was like, okay. What, the penis? <laughs> <laughs> no, I we didn't even like have sex for like two months until we started what? like actually dating. Yeah, what? Um, was that by? I you? think it's because he was Italian, and I was like, oh, Italian. I'm Italian. Okay. <laughs> I was like, I love an Italian family. All right, we'll see how it goes. So wait, hold on. Did you like keep him from smashing, or did he like? Did you want to smash, but he like told you no? I think he was like a little bit scared of me. So if he had tried, let's say maybe in the first. Day, what have you done it? Next That's a question. Yes. That's a yes. Okay. So he just didn't, he just didn't want he just I guess he just didn't make a move and you're like, okay, you're not gonna make a move. I guess I'm not gonna make a move. We're just gonna have a sex stalemate right now. And it went for two months. Yeah, I guess so. I don't know. I really think he was like intimidated of me. That's but. weird, bro. Okay. So and then he made did he finally so make weird. the move or did you make it? Who made the, the move finally? I don't remember. I was probably blacked out when it happened. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fair enough. Oh Jesus. It's okay. College. I was a freshman. Okay. Talia, what about you? Um, honestly, I'm only a sophomore and I'm not really looking, so I'm just like chilling. But like, if you were I... gonna look for somebody, what do you, what would you look for at least in college to make things happen, I guess? Mm, I mean, all the guys I've met are like meh. 
Like, they're just, like, meh. Yeah. So I haven't met anyone that really caught my eye. And I'm just, like, I'm just trying to finish out school. I'm not trying to get into any relationship. So. Okay. Not a smash? No. Stop the cap. <laughs> I mean, yeah, obviously. Okay, like, all right. Uh, I was about to thank say. Thank you, yeah. Uh, <laughs> came out. Hat right now. So, okay, uh, so, uh, so you, because you were on the basketball team before. So, like, did in you, high like, school. Oh, you didn't play on the basketball team for the school that you're with? No. Oh, okay. I, no, I told you last time that I uh, didn't play anymore. Okay, I thought yeah. you played Mm-mm. on the college team and then you Mm-mm. left. Okay, so you Mm-mm. didn't. All right, Mm-mm. you're going to try walking on or nothing? No? No. Nah. Okay. No, nah. I had uh, too many concussions and I just didn't want to like. From playing basketball? What? Uh, I was in a car accident and I had like a laceration from here to here. And it just like mm-hmm. fucked up my whole. Damn. Like, Damn. You said too many concussions. You got in multiple car accidents? Well, that one was like the main one. I got. I've had like three concussions before that, but that one was what? really bad, and I had to do like physical. How, how'd you get three other concussions? Uh, <laughs> so my first you? one, um, there's it was in middle school, it was like seventh grade, and all the balls were in the corner, and my coach told me to go pick up the balls, and there was like a mat, and so there was like the door, and then the mat, and then there was like a cement like wall. And I went to go pick it up, and I my clumsy ass. I tripped, mm. and I hit. Oh my bad. Mm. I hit. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about clumsy. I know. And then I hit my head really hard Aww. on the thing, and then obviously like falling and stuff from taking charges and stuff. So yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. I shouldn't be laughing at that, but it's that, okay. <laughs> all right. It's not often that you meet a girl that has had a lot of concussions. So really, okay. okay. Nah, not often. Nah. Oh. And then, and then for you, what do you look for in a guy at least? To Most take... girls don't play sports, so yeah. No. Oh. Well. Um, well, for like college, it's mostly like I go for like the DJ. So it's you know DJ versus DJ. It's like okay, tell me something that I'm not aware of, like you know, as a DJ or when it comes to hey. Um, I could put you at this um, at this event or whatnot. It's just more of like networking for me. And then when it gets to networking, it's like, okay, I like you as a friend. Next thing you know, it's like, I like you more than that. And next thing you know, we dating. So I was usually dating like artists. So he's got to be your friend first? I mean, like, well, when I was in college or like, let's oh. say like in freshman or sophomore year, that was mostly like, oh, okay. you know, going into artists. What about thing. now? Does a guy have to be your friend now? To, to, to... We're going to like, mm-mm, it's mostly for the vibes. I'm trying to catch some vibes. I'm trying to see like what Goku, you got going on. Spirit <laughs> All right, let me uh, translate that womanese for you guys in the chat. Uh, what that basically means is you need to have some social awareness and understand what she's comfortable with, what she's not comfortable with. In other words, she wants you to have game, guys. That part. Yeah. I go. always laugh when girls say, it's about the vibes or the energy. All of a sudden, they're like yeah. ridiculous shit. It's like, bro, do you have game or not? That's what it comes down to. Are you a social retard yeah. or are you aware of the situation? <laughs> you got to know. I yeah. mean, like pretty much when it comes to that, it's like, all right, well, what do I like to do? Say, like, hey, I like to go eat. I like to go to different places, travel. Are you into that? Then, okay, cool. If you're just one of those homebodies, it's like, yo, I don't want to stay in the house. I have no problem staying in the house. But then again, it's like, I want to go have fun. I want to go outside. I want to go travel, take me somewhere else. <laughs> okay. That's just what it is. <laughs> Fair enough. She wants to go outside, gentlemen. She wants yeah. to go outside. Okay. Are we still talking about college guys? Or yeah, yeah. College yeah, guys? well, in your case, maybe not a college guy. Um, college Someone else had <laughs> black Air Forces, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> Why Air Forces? Were those low tops or high tops? <laughs> low tops. Oh, I'm God. semi-badass. Oh, all God. the way. Yeah, if you had the full t- full high tops on, I was like, well, where's the ski mask to go with yeah. it? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you let the strap hang or no? <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Spend though, okay. Yeah. Um, at college, I didn't date nobody. I never dated nobody at school or at work because I just thought that was not professional. Um, mm-hmm. but outside of that, if you already went to college and I could tell you have an accolade, like a degree or something, yes. If you're pending, I'm not looking. But if you pended, I'll look. Okay. Yeah. Cool. The guy that you dated in college, what what, the, what was he? <laughs> <laughs> if that, oh God. if you can remember, <laughs> um, I didn't date anyone in college. Mm. Oh, you didn't? Oh, you didn't? <laughs> no. Oh, really? I did not. What was the question? <laughs> gotcha. Oh, really? What? <laughs> Stupid. I believe the question. Oh, I was, need. I need the like specific question. The, the, I'm the, gonna the, give you a good answer. The, okay. The guy, okay, go ahead, fresh. No, no. So, basically speaking, if you were in college, right, or back, then I you were am college, in fact in college. Okay. <laughs> okay. What would you look for for a Super guy? senior in a check. Yeah. <laughs> in the house. So you would take serious or like smash? What would I take? What would I look for in a you guy? Look for it, yeah. 
Um, I feel like it wouldn't. Merch. Like, even if I was in college, out of college, I feel like it's the same thing. Like, I'm just looking for someone who's, like, fun. Like, I'm looking for, like, a friend, you know? Does that make sense? Where are they fucking laughing? So, does that go back to so you're looking for like, a friend? No, 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 no. What I'm trying to say is, like, a boyfriend should be, like, your, like, best friend, you know? Stop! Bruh. No, I'm serious. <laughs> like, what other reason would you be dating them? I don't know. Some dick? Well, <laughs> then I wouldn't. No, no. Uh, <laughs> Wait, so you want someone to be a platonic friend with you? Like, No, I'm saying like characteristics that you would look for in like a best friend is similar to what you would look for in a boyfriend. Oh, someone that's, that's like goofy, chill. So you want him to th- be the male version of me. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> but, 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 but also fornicate with you. You're yeah. looking for friends first. If that's what it is, friends first and, you know. She doesn't know what she wants. This is a lie. Next. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and Myron, you was right today on uh, today's show. <laughs> okay. Girls don't know what they want. Yeah, girls don't know what they want, guys. Uh, you guys think I'm kidding around when I say that. But, but we're going on college, so that's why I'm like, hey, so college, they don't I know can't what they remember. Want. But if we're talking about now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. but she's in college and you're not. Yeah, yeah. You're a senior citizen. She's still young. I know. know Yeah, I know. (laughs) (laughs) I got him. (laughs) All right. So, uh, so the super senior cannot identify what she wants. All right. Fair enough. What about you? (laughs) Me, I dated one person when I was in college. They was a football player, but they was like they weren't a midget. No, they was was tall. (laughs) Okay. He was tall. Mm -hmm. How tall was he? He was like six three, maybe. Oh shit! Damn. How tall are you? Uh, five eight. Damn, nigga. Yeah. All right. Cool. So, okay, what made you choose him? Was it just the height? or? Um, well, my school, there was a lot of hoes. So he was the only one who was, like, really shy. And, like, he was always in his room. So I liked that. So he was, like, perfect for me. And he was handsome. So I was like, okay, great. So, you know. And he, he wasn't a hoe? No, he wasn't a hoe, luckily. But, you know, I, I, I was only there for a, a semester. So I don't know after. After he was probably hoeing. You, you, you ladies might not like this, but there's no such thing as a guy hoe, man. A well, I mean, is. he wasn't being a, like around because everybody was like messing with each other in each other's rooms. You could see people like going in other people's like from one room to the other. Like people were sneaking into the men's dorms. Like I saw people doing that, so I didn't have to worry about that with him. So that's the uh, one. No, no, I, I get it. I get it. Yeah. I get it. I, I just I, feel I, that's how college is. Yeah. My, my thing is, I always say, <laughs> uh, women can be hoes and ho- guys are hoe makers. That's how I, how I look at it. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Because men and women are very different. A dude that gets around is just a promiscuous guy. It's not. It's not the same. So my man was Assassin's Creed. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah Literally. I, I, I mean, you didn't he see him. Athlete? He was an athlete in college? Mm-hmm. Oh, he was definitely smashing. Oh, yeah. 1,000%. No. Assassin's Creed. He didn't see that nigga. Yo. You, you just didn't see it. Yeah, exactly. I was yeah. about to say. Yeah. Six foot three, good looking guy on the sports team. Nah, you nah, he's, nah. you definitely was but sharing that penis. But he didn't see his potential. I saw it. <laughs> yeah, of course you saw it. I'm sure you saw a it. Lot of girls saw it. Ten other girls saw yeah. it too. Yeah. All yeah. my girls saw it. No, not, there was a lot of like handsome people at my school, so I feel like nobody was looking at him. Did, like, did, did so you walk around people. campus with him too? Huh? Did y'all like walk around holding hands and shit? Mm-hmm. Wow. He walked into my dorm every day. Like Donald, he uh, made man. Like he girl. made sure yeah. you were home so he could do what he got to do. He's like, All right, <laughs> you're oh, home. Okay, okay, okay. I'm, I'm put you in. Yeah, <laughs> yeah he's yeah, smart about it. Girls, City yeah, boys, yeah, we yeah. up. Yo, Dr. Mark. Can I? Can I just feel special? Let me feel special. Okay. Hey. Right. Nope. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, he was definitely <laughs> fucking other girls because you walking around campus, the other girls saw you with him, and they're like, "Oh, they want he that. has a girl. I want that. <laughs> I want that. Even Social more. Proof, even more. So <laughs> boys tall too, and she co-signed. So I can okay. never not get cheated on. That's what you're saying. Like if I if Pretty I get in college, you you're bound to get cheated on. I mean, yes. the odds are though they're probably gonna yeah. do, do their thing though. Let's give yeah. it a stack. Well, college I always said it. Count. If he's uh, if he's you know a high value man, whether in real life or in college, like you're gonna have to share him. Yeah. Sexually, that's true. No, I'm not not to I feel that. he's a hoe. So, <laughs> I mean, I just feel like college yes. doesn't count when it comes to relationship. Mm-hmm. It's like mm-mm, they just still playing around. Mm-hmm. It's college. You turn it up. Yeah, yeah, I, I, very, vibe. very, very good uh, you, mindset you, coming you, into our next video. Yes, yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay, and then lastly, what about you? Um, I like food, so you can like. Just uh. <laughs> so you want the class <laughs> chef yeah, or something? So your boyfriend bought you food and knows it. That's real. Yeah, and he had really good swag, like nice shoes all the time. Okay, homie. Like, <laughs> all right, brother. You know, he was always the like Levi's and stuff. So mm. Levi's, yeah. Levi's. Yeah. 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 No, that was oh, the, that was the oh, okay. Okay, 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 okay. But that was like when we were the same Miami. Yeah, yeah. younger, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
Okay. And uh, back oh. in, uh, yeah, back okay. then. Yeah. Back, back then. All yeah. right, fair enough. I still wear Levi's to this day, man. Fuck you guys. I don't yeah, care. So. I'm here. Yeah, 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 I'm about to go see him. You guys can wear the designer, but uh, yeah. Okay. Anyway, all right. Uh, it's your boy Ty. Uh, have y'all ever talked about semen retention? Also, love what y'all doing, gaining insight each time and every time I watch y'all. No, we never discuss semen retention. I mean, if you want to do it, bro, that's all on you. Yeah. But niggas gotta bust some nuts, nigga. <laughs> God damn. It's JFE. Ooh. Most girls who promote music on the show is trash. Just did a quick little sample slow jam. She is no, dope. she's actually oh, pretty yeah. good. She's yeah, actually he, he pretty good. Thank you guys. Yeah. Thank like, you. Like slow jam. So, so, yeah, she's really actually pretty good. Thank so you. Uh, suave temper. Uh, ten dollars. After I smash, I wait for her to hit me up. Then I hit her with the who this. Okay. Oh, <laughs> that's what the fuck? City boys, be up. Petty. Uh, what's your advice? <laughs> Big shout out from What's Your Advice podcast in SoCal. Holla. Shout right, to your brother. You, bro. And then Brandon Marte. Hope this question doesn't get ignored, ladies. If you were to hypothetically cheat, mm -mm. what would be the reason mm -hmm. why? Oh, that's a good <laughs> one. <laughs> yeah, they, they ain't gonna answer. We might get there. Yeah, they, they ain't gonna tell you the truth on that one. Might Shaq Jones, there. ten dollars, minor fresh. Would you tell your boy if you saw his girl out and about with another dude and ex excessively friendly with him? How do you navigate the situation? Hell yeah, bro. I take notes too. I'd write a report, nigga. Uh, ten dollars. <laughs> Who's uh, Mark? <laughs> I'd be doing surveillance and all that. Timestamps, everything. Hey, can you all do a live dating <laughs> app profile critique on stream? Super chat won't let me submit mm -hmm. the link. I'm not getting much love on the apps. That's Thanks, you guys long. rock. Uh, Look at the timestamps. Critique on stream. Uh, uh, yeah, that's going to be a little bit more, bro, because I don't know if that has to do that's with the topic. Testboost.com. Let's go. Okay, thank you so much. Five, uh, yeah. five, 50 bucks. Thank you so much. RP Ronin. Uh, chivalry is a code of conduct on a battlefield between men of war. What women call chivalry was conduct of secret lovers of Victorian era noble women. Men that were used and quickly discarded. Oh, damn. Okay. There All right, go. bro. Uh, he he uh, calls himself yeah. RP Ronan for a reason. <laughs> 88 Music. What's up, Fresh and Fit? <sighs> yeah, sorry, man. Chris always refreshes it when I'm reading it, guys. Sorry. Uh, just found your channel today. You guys are the much needed truth. Also, Dogecoin and Bitcoin to, to the, the moon. moon. Yes. Yes. yes I bought some Dogecoin and then I transferred over to Ethereum. Ethereum. <laughs> uh, TSK and 907. Don't cap. Two nights in a row, all us men might as well shave our heads. This hurts. <laughs> Bro, yeah. Uh, Asante Cleaver. Fresh. What's after the McLaren? Lamborghini. Okay. it is. Uh, he called it. Uh, BS sh Shavy. Uh, just here to simp over slow jams. All right. Fair enough. Oh, the Simpsons are here for you. God damn. Okay, they are. The uh, Simpsons. Yeah. My favorite. Make sure to open up another tab, twitch.tv slash fresh podcast, so you guys can see her titties in 1080p. 1080p. Uh -oh. Ape. Uh, GBP. All the way from Great Britain. Thank God for Fresh Fit. I felt like I was born in the wrong era. It's hard to find a traditional woman that's chaste, feminine, and loyal. Yeah, okay, bro. You ain't going to find that. You guys have opened my eyes to the BS. Shout out to you from the UK. Yeah, bro. You're going to have to go to Saudi Arabia to find that, my friend. So, uh, okay. We got a video here for you guys. And then real quick, we, we got on a oh. coach here as well. It's a special guest in the house. Okay. Shout out to them on the couch. Yo. Yo. What's going on? Y'all want to say what's up to the people? Introduce yourselves real quick. Yeah, Colin. Say Love E Productions. Shout out to Say Love E Productions, man. Shout out to Myron. Shout out to Walt. Shout out to the whole Fresh Fit podcast crew for having us. Sheesh. Yes, sir. LJ here. Shout out Fresh and Fit. No, I'm working. I'm working Col my way to the Col table. Yeah, I'm ready to talk Col some Col shit. Col okay. Next time, Col next time, talk I'm some shit to tonight. Table. He's ready to go. I'm, I'm coming to the table next time. I'm, I'm scared of my dog in front of me though. He's a savage on that soundboard. <laughs> oh, me? Yeah, my go. dog ain't fucking off. <laughs> um, all right, cool. cool. So, um, a, a, a video to play. Yeah. So we play. got a video here, guys. Uh, that we're gonna play for you guys. This comes from the, the minorities, minorities, man. Shout out to my guys. Uh, yeah, we've had them on the podcast before. Shout out to them. Uh, we'll bring them back, guys. Don't worry. I know a lot of y'all wanted uh, us to do an interview with just them, which we will do. Um, you know, they're just traveling around right now filming content. So uh, next time they're in Florida, we will definitely get them on the show. And this one is uh, going to be 18 plus. So if you're 17 years old, tune up Families, right now. if you have kids watching, I uh, highly recommend. It's not going to be uh, Yeah. Yeah, it's this one is... Uh, <laughs> college <laughs> Professions, rocky. and it gets deep, ladies. Yes. All right. Y'all ready for this? Is there uh, a portion that you want us to play from here, uh, Fresh? No, you can just play from, from the beginning. Okay. Mm. We may have, mm -mm. To have to stop. Actually, hold on, hold on. Yeah, is that copyright music? Oh, yeah, it, it, it is going to be copyright. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, hold on. So, yeah. Yeah, play it. When they start talking, we'll like, um... What <laughs> 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 bro? <laughs> All right. Damn, San Diego. Huh? <laughs> I know, right? Okay. okay. So... Sexy. Yeah, you can put from here. Yeah. I did anal the other day. Brush it. It's all no, no, like... No, that's like a... Just like a beat. All right, so cool. It's three times. Two girls or two guys? Sorry. Two guys. Oh, you got ran. Last semester, I met with a bitch who had a three-year-old kid. I've caught four bodies in the first two weeks. I slept with my sorority sister's boyfriend. <laughs> the most I did was like fuck in a closet in the middle of the party. I had sex in a bathroom while a party was going on. I hooked up with a football player that has a kid. I'm in a party with this white girl. She grabbed my hand, go to another room. She with her boyfriend. I just dapped him up, walked off. 
<laughs> These hoes ain't loyal. I was fucking up. These niggas on the team. And I seen him at the party and I was hugging one of them and the other one grabbed me like, nah, this is mine. I definitely had to fight somebody, baby mama. What's it was up? messy. I'm about to fuck this bitch up. You broke as fuck. You don't make as much as me. That's the second time? <laughs> what are we doing? Wow, damn. Tell me what's going on. Dick in mouth. Fuck her mouth. What? I never fucked a girl mouth before. They're stuck in the elevator with a bunch of children. Eileen and Queen Bree. Dude, I'm calling Queen Bree tomorrow, bro. This is my type of girl. I got caught in a football player's dorm. I fucked someone at this party the first day I met him. This party? Yeah. My ex, I cheated on you like 30 times. So last night I had 20 bodies. That girl. That before, rewind real fast. What the fuck, bro? Mm. Rewind a little bit. Yeah. Um. No yeah. way. Yeah, hit, hit play real girl. fast. Type of girl. I got caught in. Her? No, no. The no, football player's no. dorm. I think someone had that one. I knew it. Yeah, she so, should be okay. smashing nobody. She should be on a treadmill somewhere smashing them goddamn calories. <laughs> no, no, she looks like she got good credit. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. That's true. <laughs> that's what you do with the twos and threes. <laughs> <laughs> but good she's credit. still in college, though. <laughs> that's that South Florida vibe right there. <laughs> she look like Oh, you ugly as fuck, but she you know what? No money. You she can like help it. me. She pays a bill, Sonny. If that's just there. All right. Party the first day I met him. This party? Yeah. My ex, I cheated on you like 30 times. So last night I had 20 bodies. How was it? Good as fuck. I fucked a foreigner. Today this guy thought I was cute. I started talking to him and I'm also talking to his brother. What happened to your lip? You look like you got beat up. It's called a birthmark and it's on my neck too. Oh, this is Hickey. What's your name? Do you like my cameraman? Talk to him. What's the nastiest thing you're trying to do tonight? I've already done like a lot. I've had a threesome. Where's the other guy? He's in the house. You gotta go in there. <laughs> Give me a college confession that you've been in college. College confession. We're talking about college confessions. Any wild stories? Sophomore year. Got a threesome. Couple lasted 20 seconds to head, and that's it. I've been fucking this one dude, but like, he chokes me every time. It gets bruises me. You're a victim. Confession about a week ago. Pause, 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 pause. pause. <laughs> Pause. So, uh, <laughs> wait, what? Wait, what? She said, I fucked this guy, but he chokes me. And notice how she still went back to him and did it multiple times. Mm. She's mm. a victim. Yeah, guys. So, uh, just uh, take a mental note there, my friends. Hold on, real quick. La ladies. <laughs> what are your thoughts so far in the video? Is this true? Is it, is it, is it, is it, uh, is it true? Fake? Is it cap? Is it cap? What do you think? They're all looking on the lips right now. Mm. I see that. It's my cap. Mm. Wait, like, what did you say? So their responses, right, mm -hmm. to the questions, like, is it you, you think it's true? You think it's cat? Like, what do you think it really is? No, that's definitely true. No, I think they're telling the truth. Mm -hmm. yeah. They're too honest. Like, they're, they look like they're too honest. Yeah. I feel like, like, like it goes to a certain yeah. university or where you go to. Like, yeah. if you go to FSU or something like that, yeah. like when there's nothing else but just you're in college, you know, that's gonna happen. They could do that too down here at FIU UM. So yeah, mm -hmm. that's not cap. Okay, cool. We'll do like a little bit more. This is, uh, yeah. Enlight uh, enlightening. Yeah, yeah. I I'll give my commentary. At the to end. say the least. Bro, her head's in the toilet right now. <laughs> I know, right? Oh. <laughs> I one time fucked a rapper and called him the wrong name. There was a scandal at my school. Three people had a threesome. That's a scandal? That sounds yeah, like a regular right? Tuesday at San Diego State. Get the okay, fuck okay, out. Found out can't leave. We were literally about to take ass. It don't matter. We got money for me. Georgia Strickland and Bad Advance. You got dad to be with me? We're talking about college. Oh, so he's the guy who brought him to the party. That guy? Wait, yeah. What? But yeah. he was like, tell him, get the fuck out. Can he really? pay him? Yeah, because they didn't pay. Oh, shit. <laughs> he just wow. asked me. That's what some hey, you know, I'll tell you this, hold on, hold on. You know yeah. what? That's real shit, bro, because the girls they show up, you know what? I'll tell the story after. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I, 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 yeah, I, I hosted a couple parties Yo. when I was in college. I was an athlete in college. And, Yo, I ain't gonna lie. Jason and Zebra are legends, though. Yeah, no, nah, shout out to them, man. Like, I, I'll, uh, I'll tell my fuck. story after, but conti let's continue on with the video. The, yeah. Check your Xbox. I want to know if it still works. You broke the Xbox? I bought the Xbox so I could break the Xbox. I'm mean, like, so you I'm a faithful nigga. You dig, man? No! We're doing it! Jared, what the fuck? Today we're talking about college confessions. In one of my classes, I had baby Mimi up, bust her down in like a big ass auditorium. One time I was sucking someone's dick, I threw up, and I swallowed it and kept going. Oh, oh that's no. <laughs> the f oh, that's a boss. Oh, um, uh, she belongs to the streets. <laughs> All right. Hey, but you know what? I'll tell you this. That is overcoming adversity right there. That is yeah. uh, overcome. <laughs> that is that is literally overcoming. Yo, yo, Colin, what are your thoughts, bro? Colin? No, I'm loving it. I'm loving <laughs> a, a for effort. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, don't man. don't don't get Colin started on his past experiences. He can go all night. No, no we could do a whole. We got a whole another podcast for that. <laughs> okay. Oh I'm shit! Coming back. I'm coming back for that. Bill Gates in the house. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Bill Gates. Bill Gates. Oh, did somebody say in the chat? <laughs> <laughs> no. Yo, uh, y'all that was fresh, this, bro. Oh, that was fresh. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, that was a good one, man. That was a good one, bro. <laughs> All I'm right, trying, uh, man. Okay, um, anything else? No, no we're going to keep going, right? The other Wait, dude, hold, funny I have as a hell. question about that. Yeah, okay, go If ahead. that was to happen to you guys, like, what is your response? Like, you said, yo, keep going? Or, like, what is it? Well, I mean, at that point, what else are you going to do? You already done fuck my jeans up, fuck yeah. my boxes up. <laughs> the smell. You might as well keep it going. <laughs> like, so you telling me well, that. Well, he, she didn't know. He didn't know. Remember, she threw up and then it like. Uh, it yeah, like oh. kept, I think she kept it in her mouth. Oh, yeah, like, like it was a gag or yeah. whatever. No, no, I don't know. Thing. You would you would have found out at that like you know after she comes out of that like you would have found out. If there's <laughs> throw up on your it depends. It depends, depends what the gag reflex is looking like. It depends what the gag reflex. So hold up, but what did she do? Like throw up. What are you gonna do about that? You gonna accept that? Like you know what? My dick is hard, but doesn't your dick no. just go back down? Like yes. uh uh-uh, uh, get get off of me. Like what is your first instinct? I'm gonna lie, guys. I ain't gonna lie. Guy, if y'all eating but... food right now? I'm sorry for you once again. That being said, I mean, it, niggas horny. They horny. Like, Oof. throw up Damn. or not. Oof. Can I twist it? <laughs> what if a girl come on you but it's really piss? What do you do? You just like act like it's not that's, there? Yeah, that's, that's, bad. Bad. that's not, not bad. That's not bad. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. But vomit, yeah. that's, yeah. A, that's, that's a whole other like. It's ugh. the vomit. It's the smell. Yeah. Like, yeah. you're gonna be like, you still caught up in the trance. It's like, dang. I mean, God. piss like, gotta gonna smell if she don't drink water. Yeah. Uh, it's smell like yeah, yellow. but then they're gonna think it's like, they're gonna think it's, it's, it's hot. It's, a, it's hot. No, but like, if. if <laughs> if uh, they're drinking, the piss is kind of white, so it's like it won't really smell. But I mean, it's my. Hey, Chris, how you know this nigga? Nigga, like it's happened to me before. I ain't gonna lie. Pissed on clearly. Hey, 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 have you done a, a golden shower or have you had somebody at a golden shower on you? Whoa. Since you talked, you know, you brought that up. Colin, go first, Colin. Go ahead. No, I, I, I pissed on a bitch's leg in the shower one time. <gasps> oh, this is on the leg. That, that, that's that, okay. That, 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 okay. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Like, car wash. <laughs> that, 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 he said it one time. That was literally, what, 10 days ago? Last oh. week? Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay. Okay, Mari? Uh No, I've never done anything that uh, mm. dealt with urine. You never danced in the rain? Yeah, I've never. <laughs> no, I never danced. Have anybody ever asked him, like, hey, let me let me pee on you? No, I've never heard that, None of that. request That's from gay. a girl before. Mm, listen. And I've never <laughs> wanted to do it. Uh, I've had a crazy. Somebody had requests. They said, yo, I want you to pee on me. And I was like, what? what? You want me? I was like, you sure? That's and he was, as fuck. Oh, no. You did it? I mean, like, that's what he wanted, right? So. Oh, you did it. I peed on him. She's forgetting the part where he paid her a thousand bucks, but okay. <laughs> Listen, yeah. all I can say is at first, I, City Girls it, it threw me back. I was like, wait, hold on. City and then up. I was like, wait, there's City more into it, but I don't want to go into that. Like, it was kind of weird. Like, oh, so, shit. I mean, I say, I say it. Go ahead. So, go ahead. Okay. I mean, you. She you, made a rack He drank my pee. Oh. oh! Oh no! Oh no! Nah. Uh-uh. That's, 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 that's some fear factor oh, shit. Yeah, with that, uh, Damn. Damn. I wouldn't lie. So I mean, we are like... in the realm of demonetization. This is ex- excellent. Okay, I love it. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right, um, Chris. Yeah, I was gonna say about the vomit. Like, uh, if it was real, if it was like vomit and it, like it really happened, like you would, because it's acid, bro. It's gonna Ooh. burn you. It'd be chunky. Yeah, no, yeah. literally, oh, one of my just... friends did this, and she said that she literally just like sucked it right back up. Oh. You never know. <laughs> like I, I'm yeah, not even kidding. Like she just said, like she but never lost suction that. on his dick. Oh and, like, my just, god. Just swallowed it. So guys, when a, a girl says she wasn't a nice guy, stop the cap. <laughs> Don't got, do it. I got one more question. <laughs> Mm-hmm. If a girl drinks alcohol, do you guys feel it right afterwards? If she were to like drink alcohol and then fellatio right away, or oh. y'all don't feel the burn, or you don't? Mm. Mm. That's ah. like a me too question with all the alcohol and sexual favors and all that shit. I I'm just saying, like, if you drink alcohol, right, I'm from the suck. You talking about like for you feel it, or you don't? That's you like talking about like oral? I don't think so. No, I'm talking about. No, right, no, I, I take a big shot of and alcohol. then I just go right to where. No, no, it, she's oh. saying that if she drank alcohol and then right after sucked your dick, would, would it burn? Nah. It, is there like nah, a connection? Okay, no, no, no. no ice is a different story though. I, you, you, nah, it's that mint. That mint. That mint. What you know about that mint? That listerine. Remember that they used to have that listerine strip. 
<laughs> Yo. Wait, Yo, pop, back in 1982? One, man. Pop rocks are a vibe, oh, too, though. Pop rocks. Oh. Yeah. Pop, pop, rocks. pop rocks are a vibe, too. Come on, come on. I don't on. know what, what that is. Yeah. Yeah. Fireworks. Fireworks. You don't know what pop rocks are? There you go, tell what? them. What? Oh it's like the oh chain reaction of candy popping off in your mouth. Oh. They don't stop. No, who did Wait. that? It's like a firework you in did your gums. Oh, Guys, shit. keep in mind that that fresh is a foreigner, so... Guys. We don't have that in this oh, country. Yeah, yeah Barbados. Girl. He's a foreigner. The girls. He's from Australia. Please don't get oh, I might. <laughs> I <do. Yeah>. Okay. <laughs> I need Straight to talk from Australia. Australia. What, what was that, Chris? I was saying, please don't get fresh ideas. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Fresh, uh, fresh. Continue fresh. on with the video. Uh, you sure? Yeah, yeah. Oh, you said you're sure. Bro. Hey, man, we already yo, in that. We already in that. I go like, the minorities, bro, they get wild, bro. Like, yo, girls be doing the, the most, They've bro. They've been banned like, off YouTube how many times? Like oh. three times? Three, four times. Yeah, shout what? out to the minorities, bro. Yeah, shout out to them. Yeah, getting uh, getting banned off and coming back on. So, um, all right. So, we are going to continue on with this video. This is hilarious. This is hilarious, bro. Shout out to minorities. All right. Star World. Star World. Star World. Star World. Star World. Daddy lost in the sauce. Oh, the bubbles is already. Don't get in this motherfucker. Man, every bad guy comes up. Like, hello? Oh. Hey, bitch, you go see your boyfriend. Right? I ain't some motherfucker live, bro. What's the mission tonight, man? Four in one night. I need all hair. Nothing else. Okay. What's happening, man? I yellow fly guard. No fucking way. What's going on, man? What's happening? Hop in, baby. Who the fuck was stocky? Man, we here with the guy. What are you recording? My Lord. Lord. What's, <laughs> what's your name? I'm Nicole. Nicole, we talking about college confessions. Any wild stories? I blacked out and got a concussion on Friday. I made out with oh. a really ugly guy on the floor. Why did you okay. get an ugly guy? I have really low standards. I went to Texas with my grandparents. The condom fell out of me in the RV, so I just flushed it. So the condom was stuck in you, then it fell out. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's real freaky on this side. Get those ankles, Dad. Yeah. That's what the whole ENT, man. We're gonna have an orgy when we get back. When you get back, where? To our dorm room. What's the wildest place we can go? Next to his brother. How many one night stands got so far? Only one. How many one night stands so far? She said girl, only. She banged her bro his that dude's brother next no, to his. Next brother. To she his fine brother. as fuck. Wow, look, they, they look a little intimate, a little too intimate. <laughs> no, she she said um she was smashing next to the brother. Yeah. So yeah. like let's say oh, in the okay. bed, okay. like okay. you know we in the same room, oh. Oh. like okay, a community so. center. Okay, yeah. okay. that's crazy. Interesting. And then <laughs> that girl that said center. we're gonna go have an orgy <laughs> later. How many one night stands got so far? Only one. How many one night stands so far? I would say three. Any advice to the children out there watching this? Tell the motherfucking truth from the get go. What's the best drug of choice? What's your favorite drug of choice? Drug? Any recommendation? Go to drugs. Oh. No drugs. Yeah, I like smoking weed, but is that a drug? Yeah, that's a drug. Oh. Wait. She want that. <laughs> she want that nigga so bad, bro. She want that. <laughs> she want that nigga so bad. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I just disappeared. It was oh, he went home with him. Oh. Mm. This is Sacramento's finest right now. Yo, pause, 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 pause. Yo, this nigga, this, this nigga, bro. So he was here in Miami, right? <laughs> he did a vlog with us, bro. He was like, "Yo, I'm going to Florida." I'm like, "All right, bet, bro. We go to Florida, right? We go to um Club of Sway." He was mm -hmm. like, "Yo, you sure you sure just want to roll? I'm out." I'm like, "I right, go, bro. Go, go do your thing, right?" He's like, "I'm gonna still vlog though." I'm like, "What do you mean, bro? I see the video later on. She's at his crib, bro. He's still vlogging the whole thing." Like everything, wow. like everything, and I'm like, bruh, Patreon's lit. So shout out to them because they be going all the way. Like, yeah, I gotta stop wrapping that, bro. Yeah, I wouldn't be able to smash girls on Patreon. I nah, bro. But like, nah. no way, bro. Yeah, hey man, more power to you guys, bro. But for I, real, y'all yeah, niggas yeah. about that life. <laughs> we not about that life, bro. <laughs> we, ain't, we, we ain't about people seeing our dicks and all that other stuff on the internet. So uh, yeah, all right. No, no, but he had it like like uh, censored though, so you so you, mm. so you can see it. I mean, but you but you know what she was like, what she was doing, like. I'll, I'll tell you later. Never mind. Okay. I mean, right, we, right, yeah, I'm we confused. Know. Uh, we know. Right. What was that? Make me choose, but I can. Oh, we, yeah, we know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Never choose, man. Choosing is a fee. You dig, bitch? Shout out my babies. Shout out my killers in the tank. Look at my black queen again. Shout out to. Are you about to let me hit the wood again? No. <laughs> Fuck oh. with you though. Black power. <laughs> Give me some Alicia Keys. I knew you were gonna some see Mariah that. Some Mariah Carey. We've been waiting. Alicia Keys. Go ahead, hurry up, cause my niggas is way though. What's the college confession? Oh, wow. <laughs> Craziest college confession. I don't got no confession, nigga. What's your favorite drug of choice? I don't do hard drugs. Favorite drug? Yeah. Shrimp. I don't do hard drug. Pause, pause, pause. Y'all good in it? What is I gotta a hard drug? This. What is a hard drug, ladies? Do you a any hard you know? drug? No, uh, whore. 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 Oh, whore. Sorry, I don't know what that is. We'll start here. What would be considered a whore drug to you, personally? We'll start here. Cocaine. Okay. okay. 
Ecstasy. Okay. Oh, good one. Yeah. None. <laughs> Heroin. Okay. Oh, God damn. God damn. Okay. Yeah. What would be considered a horror drug for you? Cocaine, Molly, and X DMT. Damn. damn. No, not DMT. <laughs> Okay. Okay. So, what is the only thing cool for you, Maya? Is weed pretty much? I don't. Yeah. If it don't grow the ground, it's not around. Okay. So, yeah, that's a good way to put it. <laughs> okay. Right. Um, Somebody, I didn't come into you. <laughs> yeah. Right. What about you? Wouldn't it be like, yeah, I would say coke, but then it's like, what about perks? Mm. I, I don't know. I'm gonna say coke though. Coke is yeah. a horror drug to you. Perk pussy. Yeah. But then again, it's like, it's like they would consider it as the rich drug or whatever. So, mm -hmm. but I would say coke. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Molly and X. Okay. Uh, like probably two C. What? Yeah. I don't even know what that <laughs> is. I don't know. What That's is that a new shit? drug in Florida going around. Two C. What, what, what is that? It's pink, right? It's Molly and ketamine. How do you oh know? Oh my gosh. Oh, I don't know. It's weird. <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard of this. I'm like, how? <laughs> it tastes, it tastes like a uh, like. I don't know. It's yeah. terrible. Are you I'm talking right about what it tastes like? Can't make a sentence. I, I can't talk about. Um, <laughs> I've just heard this from uh, other people. I've never done it before. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm sure. Uh, no, no, no. Right. But the clubs do have it uh, like going around though. Like they like share it and shit. Yeah, wow. It's crazy. It's just okay. like mostly in New York, I would say. <laughs> it's I, too. I find it very interesting that. I'm just gonna call spade a spade. All the black girls said cocaine was a hard <laughs> drug, but the white girls were like, "What are you bitches talking about?" <laughs> <laughs> this bitch said no. heroin over here. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I don't know. Every time I see a black person do coke, I still get like scared every first time. It's like, oh, you do coke. I don't know. It's just weird. I just feel like coke is like a fun drug. I mean, like that's just know. what it is. When it I see black people up. do it, I'm like, that's that. Don't forget Caucasian about. Shit. Don't forget about Adderall too. I know a lot of black girls who do Adderall. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and question Xanax. On Adderall one time. I don't know. Nigga, I was on speed, bro. Cool, the same shit, right? No, it's not. No, boy, it's I don't know. I don't Is do it? Drugs. Super I don't sonic. Drugs but you know what? Ecstasy. Yeah, I can see ecstasy. Yeah. yeah. No, I just found that hilarious. Like, <laughs> black girls are like cocaine and the white girls are like, <laughs> that's my favorite. <laughs> no, I just, like, that's what everybody. Well, I wouldn't say everybody, but it seems like that's it's what. Okay, majority man, ladies, I'll say it for you. It's okay. Don't worry. I don't know. When I see black people doing cocaine, it's like seeing my parents smash. It's like. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> Bad taste in my mouth. Fuck? Well, I'll yeah. tell you this: if you're a black Air Forces, you ain't sniffing no white cocaine. I'll tell you that. <laughs> black Air Forces God, means you oh sell Lord. it. That's the media. Wait, what about uh, what, what's it called? <laughs> Fentanyl. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's that. Uh, that's, that's that real. Good. Yeah, that's fentanyl. That's that synthetic that cocaine. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Fentanyl. That is. Fentanyl. Do you want to die? No, I, I'm no, just saying. Fentanyl people, people is like do a it. medical yeah, drug. That's really bad. Yeah, yeah it's people yeah. are starting to lace coke with like fentanyl. Yeah, it's like it's like a bootleg. Fentanyl is like a heroin. very high. Isn't it like, like It's really bad. It's really bad. Like people get fentanyl for like pain relief after surgery. Mm. and stuff like that but if it in like high doses it's like lethal yeah, it's, it's lethal in small doses too like yeah yeah, it's, yeah, yeah it's not good at all my friend yeah. passed from that yeah. it's on the same range what as morphine to, uh, flocka Fla flocka mm -hmm. walker it fell <laughs> off it fell off yeah. Yeah. people die i don't know <laughs> damn I wasn't doing so on the street like so zombies. she stopped selling it yeah the <laughs> zombies. yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know how good a roast you were in the Black Air Forces. I saw that on Instagram. I was like, oh. He was like, Next time you come him. on this show, you get exactly roasted. what he did. He said, got him. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, yeah. Fentanyl's really bad, guys. Uh, yeah, it's... Uh, I wait. Yeah. <laughs> I could... Yeah. It's my turn. It's my turn? Someone said my turn? Yeah, I heard that. That's fucking comedy. Oh, I thought she was working. Okay. Somebody give these niggas CPR. I can't make you play. Get my flip. Mario. Yeah, what the fuck? Right, go ahead. Get these niggas some vocals. I need some Alicia Keys. Some people want it Oh, yeah. She's gonna get fucked. <laughs> man. My man Zeb is funny as fuck, bro. If it ain't you, <laughs> What is she on? No, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, yeah. Fuck, I gotta get back. Poor job. Yo, he a live the world. It's up, man. It's up. It's up. It's up. It's up. Oh shit. Oh, that, that Chief Key? Hell yeah, Finito. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, keep a little bit. Pause, pause real quick. If if they ever play that that, that, that Chief Keep song, mm -hmm. guys, or I don't you like it. or Nuck If You Buck or whatever, well, that's when you get leave. Out. <laughs> that's Ooh, when you that's leave. That's when you leave. <laughs> that's when you leave. 
<laughs> Alright, so what's the shooter? <laughs> Is, uh, someone has a ski mask? <laughs> Oh, oh shit! Yeah. Time to leave the party. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. With yes. that being said, I hope y'all liked today's video. Make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. Shout out to Jay. Cool. All right, mm -hmm. fair enough. Shout out to the minorities, guys. Go subscribe to their channel. Uh, <laughs> yo, guys, do us a quick favor and like the video because this is definitely probably going to get demonetized because we've been talking about feces, urine, drugs, drugs, okay, <laughs> everything that YouTube doesn't want us to talk about. We definitely talked about just now, smashing all that stuff. So, um, yeah. All right. Okay. Next. So. Ladies on the panel, next question for you. Tell us two things. Or you know what? Better yet, one thing. One thing that just says, you know what? This guy is no good. You're done when you meet him. Like yes. It's just like, yo, I can't deal with you. I don't want to see you anymore. You meet him on a date. What's that one thing that says, you know what? I'm done. We'll start right here. Mm. Wanting to know too much about me. Okay. So he wants to ask questions about you? Mm -hmm. Why is that a bad thing? Um, cause I don't want to tell you everything. I just met you. You know what I mean? Like I, it takes time to know anything. Like I don't like to open up on the first time mm. on like the first date or anything. So what should he ask you? Nothing really. Like let's just have fun. <laughs> 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 it's like, going to be a mute date. <laughs> okay. Yo. No, it's not even, it's yeah. not even that. Like don't ask, like just, you know, like, or me ask me the basic questions. Like what's your favorite color? Or like, you know, not like people do that anymore, but you know <laughs> what I mean? Like just like the basic questions, like that doesn't really matter, you know? But I just like to have fun. Okay. Like, pick me up and let's go somewhere fun. <laughs> okay. She wants to hear the crickets, not you guys, all right? Mm. Fair enough. Cool. Wally? Mm. She's still trying to see, did he really cheat on me? Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, God damn. Back in time. So you're saying like the back. first date? First date uh, interaction or just like even third date. It doesn't matter. Third date. Mm. If they have, like, a bad attitude, I'm really big on, like, somebody who's, like, mm -hmm. too cocky and, okay. like, I don't know. I don't like that. So, so that would probably so be my deal. Breaker. Overconfident? Just, like, too, like, out there? I mean, I love confident people, but, like, arrogance. That's when, it, you know, mm -hmm. goes overboard. So, yeah, I don't like that. Okay. What about you, Jess? Um, I would say, like, bad hygiene. Like, bad mm. breath. I like that. That's or, true. like, yellow yeah. teeth that just, like... No. Immediately, no. <laughs> All right. Fair enough. That's, 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 that's actually yeah, a, that's a, a very, yeah. very that's common a good one. complaint that we've gotten. And we tell guys on the podcast mm -hmm. all the time, like, yo, y'all need to, like, fucking shower. And you got to shower and brush teeth, bro. The amount of girls that have come on the podcast and complain about personal hygiene is, is alarming. A lot. It's, it's actually alarming. Yeah. I'm, like, surprised. I did not know and it was shave, that bad. Shave your balls, niggas, unless, you know what I'm saying? Yes. Shut my skin. You like forests. Yes. The forest. <laughs> I shaved my balls right before the show. I definitely did not. <laughs> or cream your feet. <laughs> Chris, fuck you. All right. Later. Maya. <laughs> what? <laughs> Pause, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't. <laughs> I don't like when a guy is too horny. It turns me super off. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Because I feel like you'll fuck anything if you so willing to be down with me right away, super right away. At least be subtle about it. I mean, but have you seen what you're wearing though? I mean, you're hot, pretty, you're pretty nice. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> that means you know you could fight temptation. And mm -hmm. I respect that. <laughs> okay. Good okay. boy. Good boy. Honestly, <laughs> I don't like a salop. And what I mean by salop is like salop? just like from which salop, like you dirty. Oh. Back to the bad hygiene, but it's like you just dirty. Like you smell. Like the way how you dress, you're not. You wearing like wrinkled clothes. Like, what are you doing? Especially if it's on a first date. It's like, what are you doing? You trying to talk wrinkled to me? Clothes. Or even like in the streets, it's like, okay, you trying to talk to me, but look at the way how you looking. Even if you got money, but it's like, dude, you stink. Like, you look sal. <laughs> mm. Nobody likes a salop. I never heard that term before. Is that like his Spanish? That's a, no, that's um, no. that's Creole. Yeah. Salop. Oh, okay. Salop is like, you dirty. Okay. okay. So and if it, I see him like, man, sa he's salop. 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 <laughs> and right, so Hispanics so have um, pata sucia. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, dirty feet. Dirty feet, yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh, Brush. man. Mm. Yeah. That's nasty. Oh, the nails. Chris. <laughs> Screw you, Chris. Screw dirty you, nails. nails. Uh, okay. Uh, 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 are you Haitian? Yeah, I'm Haitian. Yeah, okay. All right. Shout out to all the Haitians out there. Yeah. Trey. <clears throat> Shout out um. to Trey. Also in the back, another fellow <laughs> Haitian. All right, let. Um, Probably dress. The way they dress. Like, if they can't dress, then it's like, meh. And then hygiene. And also, if they're way too horny, then I'm just like, it's a turn off. So. Can they wear sweatpants and big t-shirts? Uh, obviously not on the first date. I mean, if we go to the movies, fuck yeah. Uh, okay. But like, if it's like dinner, then no. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. 
But wait, you're wearing sweatpants and a baby well, t-shirt. <laughs> this is a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get cozy. Yeah, see? Let's get cozy. Okay. All right, fair enough. Uh, what about you? For me, I want someone with, that has goals and motivation. So if you lay in bed all day or you like play video games all day, that's not going to motivate me to be a better person and like get up and do shit. So I don't like that. Nobody likes a bum for real. Yeah. Wait, so so what you if have have you like are a Twitch stream and you make money? Um, if you have, if that's like your dream, then go for it. Um, that's different. I feel like I don't know if you're laying in bed all day and you're just like twitching, then that's not. I don't know. That's not really gonna make me be a better <laughs> person. Better I don't know. <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't know. Just like someone that like begs for me to like stay in bed all day. Like I don't want that. Like I want you to make. <laughs> motivate me to be a better person too wait 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 i think she might be confused are you, do you know what twitch is i do know what twitch is yeah okay so okay. he's talking about like twitch playing the vi- like, oh, playing like video, video games? games on twitch to make money like st- um i'm gonna say no only because i feel like if that's your career you're probably gonna spend like as much time as you want on that uh on twitch to spend or like make money of course. and then so you're not money, gonna though. do anything do you, i know like, i know but like okay I, it's not really about the money like if you're on there mm-hmm. and you make a million dollars like it's not gonna make me happy because like i want to spend time with you and like yeah. i won't be with he, you you will spend time with him he'll, he'll make him a sandwich and bring it to the, to the table <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, just pause the game yeah. Yeah. yeah he paused the game uh, in between pause, sessions right, he could say what's up to you and yeah, hey how up? are you and definitely not you what i want that's even more of a turn off if he's mm. just like yo bitch make me a sandwich i'll be like yeah. no he wants to yo bitch the hey <laughs> i actually have to pack all of my bags right this no, all he would say is you know feminine servant please come and bring me the sandwich well in that case then yeah right Mercy you game, know, no. you live life for chat. free in this castle that I've built. I, my my feminine servant, please bring me a sandwich. I need sustenance. You know what I'm saying? Like, what's wrong with that? No, absolutely not. No, no? okay, all right. I tried, guys. Oh, damn, yeah, <laughs> yeah, bring yeah. you a sandwich. Yeah, we tried. Super chats, real quick. <laughs> all right, super chats. Uh, all right, <laughs> uh, five bucks from Demora Walker. Are are y'all gonna re- review other YouTube channels like Instagram? We will actually. We should because yeah, you guys been asking for it, man. Yeah, and- yeah. And you guys, yeah. you got to send a donation. We're going 10 and up, right, Chris? Yep. All right. Uh, bruh, take it from me. Juco college athlete, then UNT, then HBCU. I've seen it all. All this is facts. There you Ooh, go. He's, he's, they're destroying your dream more. Do you got to say anything to that? <laughs> no. Are you starting to have second thoughts that he might have smashed <laughs> other girls now? I don't want to think about it. <laughs> hey, remember, you were his girlfriend, though, so that's all that matters. <laughs> In the moment. That doesn't help. Okay, well, I tried. <laughs> 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 Ronald Je- Jaquiz Grease and go home They all grits in the video okay. Oh shit grits He's From Miami oh my yeah, God. Grits. They know about grits now Wait right? okay. Can you tell the audience What grits means yeah, Grits please. mean lame Buzz Dead Not fun Not right. exciting Grits oh. like This sh- girl hit me up So yesterday Tavia told that chick from Sweetwater that you're fucking grits. <laughs> yeah. uh, Charlie Natty, uh, uh, fresh with the ice and Myron with the heat. What's popping? <laughs> Shouts out to, uh, to A and T and F and M. I think the girl next to Fresh is nervous. She's been holding her right arm with her left hand. <laughs> on the, uh, <laughs> you have anything uh, to really say, really to, say to him? Anything. You nervous? No, I'm not nervous. She's not nervous at all. You guys see how slow she speaks? She's not nervous at all. Yeah, guys, like, please don't, please don't look at me. Uh, uh, all right. Uh, okay. Uh, let's Professor see here. Paradox. Then we got 10 bucks, Professor, Professor Paradox. Girls and some guys spend college 304ing around and partying, then want their student loans forgiven when they can't get a job <laughs> using tax dollars from people, mostly men who worked hard. <laughs> <laughs> That's facts, though. What, what, uh, what, what are you majoring in, uh, Super Senior? Nursing. Oh okay. Wait. Okay. And so I don't nice. have sucking dick. So that's nice. a four-year degree. The... <laughs> no, I know. I I, I was a nursing major at USC, transferred to Temple, and they have like a four-year program. So no matter what, you have to start as a freshman. Oh. Yeah. But to me, it was just worth it. <clears throat> so why'd you leave South Carolina, man? That's that's a, like I don't know. like when I was in high school. I just wanted to go to like a big southern football school so mm-hmm. i did got there and just didn't like it you don't like it Mm-mm. did you join a sorority no you didn't join a greek life i rushed and then i dropped out but a lot of my friends were in sorority so i was like friends with them but mm. hazing was too tough no why'd you drop out then like i dropped out of recruitment like i didn't finish recruitment oh i wasn't oh. like in a sorority okay so you didn't okay you didn't make it to the hazing yet okay mm. fair enough yeah uh, unfortunately not <laughs> all right G- temple doesn't have greek life like that though do they 
No. They I don't. mean, I was in a sorority at Temple, but like yeah. nothing like the the south. That, like that's the thing no. about the northeast schools. Like the Greek life is trash there. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's just I not. mean, it depends on like your point of view. Like I like the more like chill Greek life. I think over there it's like a little too crazy. Yeah. But, Compa- but compared to like the south and the west coast, like the big like state schools, like it doesn't even come close. Like if you oh, go to a school no, like no, in the no, city, no. like you know, uh, uh, northeastern was in Boston, so like they they just can't have crazy greek life like that so no whatever but anyway uh, all right continuing on rp ronan uh, i got my master's in engineering oh, uh through the guy bill i also walked uh out of college with 60k in cash being the only sober person at college parties men stay on your purpose i'm balling now hey good shit, bro. there you go brother uh he's uh, he's super super uh based uh jay samuels ask some girls shortest amount of time they smash after meeting a dude for the first time oh oh shit that's, that's a good question great question <laughs> all right uh okay. so uh <laughs> Uh, we'll start. We'll start. Wait, who answered last time? She went first last time, right? We need yeah. honest answers, though. Yeah, 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 yeah for real. We'll start here. <coughs> Shortest time. Uh, do I have to answer honestly? Yes. yes. You're on the spot right now. Probably like less than an hour. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Fuck with that. Cool. Trust me, there's girls that have less than a minute. So. <laughs> For frax. Okay. okay. Oh, wait, what is it? Shortest amount of time? Before you smashed. Uh, 30 <laughs> seconds. Uh, <laughs> not 30 seconds. Probably like 30 minutes to an hour. Okay. Okay. All right. Cool. Keeping it real. All right. After dinner. How long so was I mean, the dinner? How long is the dinner? It's going to be about like, uh, about like, no, two hours. Where did he take you? That's the real magic question. That's a good question. At Denny's. The Satai. Denny's. Where? Satai. Satai. Yeah. Jay oh. at the Satai. Satai. It's in. It's a. Uh, is that by the W? Um. No, it's not. It's actually at the Satai, if I'm not mistaken. No, because that's the hotel. Yeah, it's not Satai, by, it's Satai is the, the hotel. W. It's next door to the W. Yeah. It's next to it's W. South Beach. South, South Beach by by SDK, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Five star restaurant. Four star restaurant. I think it's five, yeah. right? Sure. Sure. No. She was fucking yeah. Damn. How much did that cost? That's not my business. <laughs> okay. And that's why she smashed. There you go, there guys. You go. Yeah, that's why I always tell y'all, man. Well, don't take girls on dinner dates, but no. uh, quality. That was my next question. <laughs> what what got him to do it in thirty minutes? <laughs> oh yeah. Who said thirty minutes? Not me. Not the first two. The first two. I'm not talking about you. <laughs> He's looking at the white girls, man. You see his skin color? <laughs> Come on, man. No, no, no. I'm all flavors like now and later. <laughs> oh, <Lord>. Alcohol. <laughs> okay. Blaming on the yeah. booze. Okay. Shout out Jimmy Fox. Fair enough. <laughs> but was, uh, and I already know because because the black dudes in the chat are going to want to know. Was it off Henny? Oh, my God. Tito no. Tequila. No. Tequila. <laughs> tequila. Probably tequila, yeah. Tequila. Probably. Probably. Tequila. Guys, Casamigos. Guys, bike tequila. <laughs> Café Azul and Casamigos. Yeah. That's all you need, brother. Yeah, one of those. Slow jams. What about Slow you? Slow jams. What about you? Meeting on the first day or the first date? The fastest that you you, you, you knew a guy before you smashed him. Like in time five days D- what five days stop the cap come on SJ. <laughs> that's really bad i don't even know him i didn't know his first name oh, you know him for really five days you didn't know his what first the name fuck? wait now you i know his ad on. name but i don't um, know his first name or instagram he don't know my first name i don't think nobody knows my first name in this whole room like so i do which one is it Oh wait 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 wait! You know, don't <laughs> say no, it. No, no, really? Don't say it, please. Our ugly ass name. I hate that name. Don't all right, all right, cool. Yeah. All right, we bet. First yes. name black, last name Air Forces. <laughs> <laughs> well, my last name Brown, so you close. <laughs> <laughs> black and brown. All right, fair enough. Okay, Jess, what about you? Six years. <laughs> all right, go ahead. I feel you. Girl, that was like some CSI oh my franchise. No, <laughs> there's a reason for that. Six and a half years. <laughs> You mean six and a half minutes? Tell us the truth. Six and a half six years. years. What's three? You, six that's the times fastest six. that you that you, that that you had sex with a guy. I'm a virgin. She has a reason. Man, oh my gosh, another again. virgin <laughs> again. Here we go. Virgin Mobile. <laughs> so you went to college and then <laughs> didn't fuck anybody. I went to an all girls school with oh, nuns. Oh, that doesn't. Wait, so in college or high school? <laughs> <laughs> Both. So I went there, so I went hard right now. School and high school. Captain so hard. Wait, right wait, now. wait, wait. She knows something. Oh, no, no, yeah, she knows. She knows. Oh no, 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 She's no, telling no, no, no. the truth. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so you fuck girls? That's what I was gonna say. An all girl school no, means an all girl no. experience, <laughs> <laughs> right? No. no. So thirty minutes. Yeah. If you guys do the math, Temple's not an all girl school. 
Yeah, I've been knowing that. Why do you think Who I have all these hats on? You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> the capital. Yeah. So um, let's be honest. Yeah. So so you're yeah, saying no? The the soonest you had sex with a guy was after six years. Yes. You made him wait for six years. That is correct. Poor guy. That is Poor guy. not. That sounds like a sentence. God bless him. <laughs> that is false. <laughs> My cap's okay. in the back. Yeah, I, I think. I think you guys need more. <laughs> I think it's yeah. So yeah, you okay? What what was the fastest wait, to your wait, knowledge? Wait, wait. Uh, <laughs> on the spot. Why are you? Why? No. <laughs> Definitely an hour or less. No, because she's a, she's pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. Wait, she's wait. very picky. So, um, so pause. So five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh, there good you job. Go. Good job. Good job. Six uh, years. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Anyways. I'm running out of hats it's here. The same thing. No, anyway. <laughs> Anyways. Okay. Um, second time hanging out. So How many so hours elapsed? Hmm? How many hours elapsed between that? Probably like three to four days. God damn. Was it with the mm-hmm. eight, the, the, the the dream guy that you had here that you yeah. just found out was smashing other girls? No, Sam? Oh, no, no. Yeah. Aw. <laughs> so, <laughs> so nice. Oh, do, y'all, do y'all still talk? <laughs> do you guys mm-hmm. still talk? No. Was he like your first love? Now, so. oh, he's a girl. oh, yeah. yeah so okay, you stalking. All right, you, you definitely I mean, working. we follow each other on social media, so I know. Oh, yeah, you See, working. it's the devil. Social media. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling watching. you. Yeah, she's watching, bro. <laughs> From afar. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, what about you? Couple weeks. Couple weeks? Yeah. Come on now. I'm watching you. Wait. Yeah. Couple weeks? Yeah, Where is he? <laughs> big dog. Is he lying, big dog? <laughs> big dog in the back. She's telling the truth. <laughs> Tell the truth. Because I'm running out of hats. Yep. He said no comment. <laughs> <laughs> it was him. Okay. Yo, yo, put the camera on uh, Big Dog back there, man. <laughs> well, no, well, he's not uh, on camera now, so. All I know okay. is that when the vibe is see, right, yeah. it it doesn't really go by how long, but I just I think it's just more of the vibe. But it's not going to go uh, by. AK, okay, guys, a couple remember of days. the vibe, vibe means game. game. <laughs> remember that, guys. Vibe yep. is everything because you never know. Like, there's some people who just link up on the first day and then, and guess what? They married or whatnot. So it's like, hey, you just never know. Yo, I ain't gonna but lie. it's up to you. Yeah, because like, you meet somebody, you feel like you've known them for like, like forever. And it's like, oh, shit, like, connection is there. That being said, though, is the sex good? Who knows? Gotta find out. So you hook uh, up on the first date? Well, nah, I'm a virgin. I, don't know I feel like when it yeah. comes to something I like that, it. it's just more of if you like the person, like if you like mesh with the person, or maybe you've been talking to the, the person. I mean, like no, the it goes from like social them? media. No, 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 it goes like from social media. Like if we already talking or whatever, like and it's like FaceTime? I feel like women March. and for dudes. They already know if they're gonna smash that person off rip. Fact, it may docs. not be on the same it may be it's on the true. same day or it may be the next time. Maybe there's some Casamigo involved, maybe some nineteen forty two, whatever it may be. <laughs> but you may you may smash on the first night yeah. and it's okay. But if not, then it's a couple of days. But I feel like Merch. if I'm talking to somebody or whatever, it's like, all right, you know what? I know that mm. if I do link up with them, then we might smash. It may happen. That's just how it is. It but not go. everybody, but not everybody think mm. like that. But I feel like Merch. you can, woman know, woman can tell us like, yeah, it. I'm about to go have, well, I'm, I'm yeah. do if you don't dude. do it on a first date or you don't ask me on the first time we meet, I like that. If you ask me on the first time, I'm going to tell you no fast. Wait, so. they're, they're asking you? Actually. Yeah, of course. Yes, I have people oh. ask me to do a lot of things on the first time. They're like, saying oh, like, no. like they're just Hell they literally no. just go up to you and be like, "This one guy, well, hello, my, I'd like to fornicate with you. Can we Somebody do this?" Somebody asked me to give them fellatio on the first time. I'm like, nigga, <laughs> how do you ask? <laughs> I want to know. How <laughs> we was watching Cat Williams stand up with some Popeyes <laughs> chicken. It was Yo. a fat dude. <laughs> what? Oh, wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, one second. Wait, <laughs> wait, stop this show. Okay, I can understand. No, no, that I'm like, hey, I'm not, I'm not gonna do that. No, wait, I, did y'all miss the fact? That she was watching a cat with him stand up with a fat dude with Popeyes. eating Popeyes, Popeyes, Popeyes fucking yeah. chicken. And he had a jerry curl. <laughs> Black Air Force. Look, he was like, yo, can you that just, is... can you SMD? I'm like, no. He said SMD? Wait, yeah. wait, wait. In... Oh my God. So in... In... I said no. And, um, nah. Wait, yeah, what nobody, the fuck? wait, wait, wait. Nobody has done in that. In Audible? Like in actual, like he, he said SMD. It, it was like Cat Williams was talking and I don't know where. He started talking like, oh, can you, um, you know, SMD? I'm like, no, I, I can't do that. Like, if that for the first week, no, I, okay, no, I understand like, where you're coming from. I don't from. have people try to do all types of stuff to me on the first night. Like, nah. man, that's was this, so was, not sexy. Nah. It was, was this like, were y'all like in the living room watching the TV yes. when this happened? Mm-hmm. Uh, and on the couch? Mm-hmm. So, let, in his sister house, yeah. 
Okay. It's just his house. Man, this is too much. Mm-hmm. What? what? <laughs> black she was there? <laughs> yeah, yeah, titties, yeah. Black, black too? Yeah. All right, let's let's do let's paint the picture here. <laughs> Ready? Yo. I want you to imagine a nice apartment, right? You know a nurse. Guys. This I is hope you don't watch fucking Yo, hilarious. No, it comes to all no. my rap she's, shows too. She's there watching a Cat Williams stand oh, up that's a fan, baby. with a fat he's dude a fan. with a jerry curl. Oh no. He looks over and says SMD with fried chicken still in the air. Yeah, <laughs> all on my lips too. Popeye's lip gloss and, all over me. And, and he's like SMD like Bro, this has got to be the most nigger thing I've ever I heard in my life. I looked at him in his eyes. I'm like, I can't do it. I can't. <laughs> and I didn't leave? have a car. Yeah, I Uber. Oh, I ordered damn. my own ride home. Wow. Damn, girl. Yeah, FedEx delivery. Yep. Damn. Straight to my house. Nigga, what? Nah. I only got one more question. <laughs> Raw, brave. Were, were both of you wearing black Air Forces at the time? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I think we left the shoes by the door. Was yeah, he wearing black? Or did he have black Air Forces? No. I've never seen a fat person with black Air Forces. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. Yeah, they so got to wear the high tops, extra support. I've never seen any fat people with black Air Forces, high or low or middle, mid, <laughs> none of that. They She's were right. definitely vibing it's, on an air mattress. If you that. find one, take a picture and send it to me. Oh, S-O-W. This, is, this, is, this is comedy. That is amazing. I can understand Thank why you, you said what you story. said, like, yeah. you know, a couple of days. Because I'm like, what? Mm-mm. SMD. That's Nigga said, yo, fuck, no. this, fuck this show. Watch SMD right now, ho. Yeah, it was so, imagine Robot Chicken. It was so quiet. Hold on. He was like this. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait, just so, like that? So, slow. <laughs> what the fuck? So, what kind of dude wait, is wait, this? Wait, 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 slow. So, oh God, what made you want to, like, I mean, he put his, his hands around you, right? So, <gasps> yeah. that means you was into him. Like, <laughs> what put him in the back of your head. Yeah. What made you, like, want to at least be with him in the first place? I mean, I don't, <laughs> I want to say I don't see weight. I see skinny <laughs> people, no matter who you are. But it's just that he was cool and he was. Look, he was a teacher too. That's even worse. Oh, Chris in the no, background no. writing notes furiously. Oh, do not do this. No. Do not do this. I'm not okay. Education. I'm just thinking we're going to eat chicken and watch Cat Williams and some black shit. Oh, now we're talking about sucking dick. It's black black love. Shit. Hey, come on now. Black love, man. Chicken and dick goes hand in hand. Was Yo, that the first day? Uh, at, 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 um, eat it off the bone. At personal request um, from Larry White in the chat. Was there watermelon on the premises as well? <laughs> I'm pretty sure he ate it before I came. <laughs> so did he have a great drink? Great drink? Uh, did he have Yo, drinks? Orange no. soda? No, great drink? Orange soda? No, it was just calories. <laughs> oh, good. NAACP <laughs> has entered the chat. I was okay, say, right, we gotta chill. Get, was that the first <laughs> link? We're going to get canceled yeah. here. We're going to get oh, us in trouble. No. Yeah, yeah, white people on the right. platform, right? <laughs> Little warning signs, huh? Yo. <laughs> the white people right now, like, bro, Yo. get me off this podcast. We can't see shit. We can't see shit. We can't see shit. We can't see Hey, if you watch this, I'm sorry that I exposed you. You know who you are. <laughs> I ain't gonna say nothing. He's a big manager of some artist. I ain't gonna say nothing. Oh, shit. Oh, so it's Tell us who he is without telling us who he is. Okay. Okay. He's not on the couch. <laughs> Man. He's not okay. on the couch. That so, is fucking hilarious. That's so, not right for the first link. So, mm. so ladies, now it's your turn to ask us questions on the panel. Yes. So think of one question or you guys two, one or two. Us. You want to ask us on the panel? The guys here, a coach right here. Anything you want to know about guys? Why they cheat? Why they do what they do? I got a question. Hold on. Sure. I'll read this real quick. Yeah. I'll read the chats real quick, ladies. Formulate your, your stuff. I know uh, the two girls from Temple might need a little extra time. Um, so <laughs> uh, okay, uh, RP Ronan. I got my master's in engineering. Oh, oh no, read that one. Not again. Uh, 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 do it TV. Yeah, uh, Talia yeah. and Jazz. The Get Cozy mm-hmm. podcast about help you guys run Miami. Aww. About to help you guys run Miami. Cool. Okay, he's giving you guys a uh, do uh, it for uh, a, a do it for TV. Yeah. That's that's my uh, videographer. Oh, there you oh, go. Shit, oh, do it for oh. TV. Okay. Shout out to you, bro. Yeah, hey. shout out to you, man. Christian. Uh, Yo, kick them in the ass and tell them to to put out more content. Yes, you have uh, to. Christian Fodra. You have to. Salute means Vlogs bitch in French. Negative. Okay. <laughs> well, I, I guess, because, guys, she's talking about this Creole, Haitian right? Haitian Creole. Yeah, Haitian Creole and French yeah. are very different. Um, okay, Giovanni Herrera. Uh, add a small screen for Chris. He is such a funny guy. Thanks, man. Okay. <laughs> no, no, he's not. <laughs> And then got, uh, Markel Meadows. Oh, oh. Question: What if the guys? What if the guy? I think he means. What if the guy is an attractive alpha male, but his carpet smell like a oh, bag of fresh tea. Doritos? You mean <laughs> no. you wouldn't let him clap? Yeah, no. When you no. scent you, the smell like, of Doritos is amazing. Yeah. All right, so she would do it. <laughs> no. I would literally no. lick your carpet. 
There you go. Oh, shit. <laughs> what about? It depends on what kind of Doritos. Like Cool Ranch or Nacho Cheese? <laughs> no. They have to be Only the cheese. white girls, bro. <laughs> <laughs> um, no. no. That's it? Okay. And, and just, just out of curiosity, what's everyone's favorite uh, chip flavor? Like Sour chip in general? Dorito? Yeah. 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 Oh. oh. Tell a lot about a person. hard. Oh, man. Spicy oh, nacho. I'm going to be so fucking annoying. I'm going to say those Lay's like big chips. Everyone fucking hates on me, but they're so good. Lay's? No. What flavor? They're just a regular, like the big chips. I like, like the big It's like seventy five percent less fat. Okay. Mm. So uh, I don't. I don't buy for that, but they're so crispy. The they're so barbecue Bro, sour cream. No, no, no. It's the original. It's, it's the yellow original. bag. Original. It, yeah. It's oh. the poverty flavor. No, no. She, that's what she likes. No. Oh, please. No. It's but it's not regular. It's baked. It's baked. I know it's what you're talking about. Oh, you like about. the baked one? Baked. baked regular. I like so, chips. so the, the fake one. Yeah. So the chat wants to know how to eat eat your chips. With my mouth. Hey, but how? But show us how. What? <laughs> I'm dead. Oh, no, I, mind. Cereal, like I mean, Chris, you got some chips there so that we can. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, just. Uh, she puts pretend. them in the blender. Oh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so blender. okay, so you like uh, uh baked, baked plain flavors. Damn, why are you guys looking at me so hard? Oh no, I, I'm just trying to get. No. Guys. God, it's pulling teeth talking no. to you. Okay, <laughs> and then. Uh, I like <laughs> munchies with hot sauce. Munchies with hot sauce. Yeah. Oh, the marijuana That's user's the, favorite? <laughs> I yeah. like the <laughs> naked pita chips. Never had those. Naked? Never had those? That might yeah, be worse than mine. Those are good. Gay! Mm-hmm. All right, what about you, Maya? <laughs> <laughs> I like spi- spicy nacho, Doritos. I like all Dorito flavors. Doritos had never made a shitty flavor ever in their life, and I love them forever. But spicy nacho, the purple bag. Sounds about right. Uh, do you pay for them, or do you steal them from the local store while wearing the Air Forces? <laughs> Yeah, I break in, I beat the shit out of the manager, <laughs> beat the shit out of everybody, and I just take the whole rack. Run your shit, bitch! Grand <laughs> bottle. Fair enough. All right. And then what about you? Sour cream and Not cannabis. surprised. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Sour what, cream. Is that, what, what do you mean? Oh, yeah, I, I want you to really. elaborate. Stank ass mom. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, yeah, that's, that's what I was Sour like. Cream. Calm down with those chips for real. Uh, uh, what, about, what about you? I like pizza Pringles. P- pizza oh. Pringles? Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> 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 No, no, no. I, 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 I Yo. Mean, it is a legit flavor. I, I know, but it's, it's pizza Pringles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> you I never mean, tried the pizza Pringles? Yes, I have, but mm-hmm. I mean, come on. It's supposed like, to be your favorite. Funny, <laughs> but I mean, you that's really that's, but that's your favorite. That's you. I ain't gonna lie. It tastes good. I know you ain't talking. Good. You ain't naked good. pizza chips. Man, those things are good. <laughs> what the hell? I can what? eat those. <laughs> pizza chips? Pizza pan. Yeah. Pizza chips? The Bob Saget is that? The black. Yeah, the black. I like That's a full house. What the fuck in the full house? What the fuck is that? What about you? I like like hot Cheetos or hot fries. Of course. Hey. 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 They was waiting for that. They was waiting for Colorado. Colorado. And Dragon Booty. <laughs> I was like, nah. Dragon Booty. <laughs> Salt, vinegar, and hot Cheetos. Hot that Cheetos. is a good combination. Because <laughs> that is salt, vinegar, hot, hot Cheetos fries. is fucking Hey, good. there you go. Salt, booty. vinegar, hot fries. Yeah, I'll tell you guys this right now. The championship chip. Blue Doritos. Salt, salt vinegar. vinegar. <gasps> or barbecue. Oh, bar- barbecue. Guys, bro. Always baked, though. Yep. Well, what? Uh, Wait, uh, no, you know you're trying to bake. It's less bake. calories. Bake mm. It's less calories. Mm. Me, I'll Oh, but you want to talk about me with just the pita chips, though. But that really is like. Nah, yeah, no, that, that thing really is, is good. Like, no, I don't eat. It just. Good. I don't know. You're just no. eating it, you know? Tell you. Pita? Salt and vinegar be burning my face. Yeah. Tongue. It makes my the inner it's corner of my lips burn. That's why it's so good, though. That's why it's you so know you, eat eat so you're not much. supposed to eat it. You yeah. only eat so much and then your fucking tongue. No, but that's because it. only real niggas eat salt and vinegar. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Get, none of y'all are real. We have yes. that shit, man. Fresh, fresh. Fresh. Fries. You, you ordered a, a cookie challenge. crumble frappuccino. <laughs> Shut up! Did you make Shut oh, up. Really? Sweet no, I don't wait, know why wait, you're so. We got some. We got some juiciness. I don't know what they are. Stop the show. I don't know them at all. You fresh as Mike. No, 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 no. That's Mel. This is fantastic. Go ahead. Y'all can, y'all can expose <laughs> can the we, CEO. Yeah, can we expose him real quick? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay, so him. first this is all, probably the so best first story you No. 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 Expose him. No. Do it. 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 So then we go into Starbucks. <laughs> he always suffers. There's so much cap, bro. Starbucks, like, so much cap. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and I 
get a mocha cookie crumble frappuccino? I said, <laughs> are we a 13 year old blonde Sweet. girl in here? No, my dog's getting was, money now. No, that's oh. me my dog's the, getting money now. Exactly. You man. don't know how to act. That was me in the sixth grade walking around the mall with nothing better to do. Oh, what are the frappuccino? <laughs> oh, oh, shit. Oh, so that's saying, not he, even the worst part. Not the worst oh, oh, I'm, like, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> wait, there's more? Keep there's more. more. There's there's more. more. Wait, wait, but there's more. You sound like Billy Mays. I hate you so much right now. <laughs> Don't touch me. <laughs> Continue. This happened. Oh, now. This happened she at Starbucks now. too. He had to walk away. Wait, wait, wait. You, wait, you walked away from him? No. He walked away because he was so embarrassed. <laughs> okay, so, so what happened? Got a okay, side. So, no, 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 no. All right, so. <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead. So I put my name on the order. I'm like, okay, the name is Miranda. <laughs> there is a drink in the window. It clearly says the name Mel. Mel. <laughs> He's like, is this mine? We're like, no, bro, it's not yours. He's literally asking the Starbucks worker, like, hey, is this mine? She's like, are you, are you Mel? He's like, He's like, no. Everybody has a sweet side. Like, no, why, wait, wait, why are you picking up the Starbucks thing if it's not yours? <laughs> he asked probably 50 times if this thing was his. Because I ordered the same thing, so I was like, okay, is it mine? But yes. it said Mel on Star- the Starbucks, container. Starbucks is infamous for is fucking name, names. Mel. Yes, it is. Defense, okay, like, but, yeah. but, but mind you, you, mind like you, you I, no, mm. mind you, we already <laughs> got part. something from the order that said my name on it, and it was spelled correctly and everything. Oh. So. No, 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 no. no. She yeah, looks like Mel. I don't think we did. No, it was not in his defense. He got the cheese Danish and it said oh, on it. I forgot about the cheese Danish. Wait, the cheese Danish? What Danish? What <laughs> <Order> that? <laughs> I mean, listen, fresh. Listen, listen, fresh. No, no, hold on. To my defense, right? Okay. Mm-hmm. I don't get coffee, so I go for, to Starbucks for sweets. I don't really go for like coffee. Mm. So that's to me is like it's like a milkshake for me. You feel I me? Feel like you. that's Everybody what I got it. Sweet side. So y'all and, niggas, and, and how was it? It was horrible. <laughs> so what was the name of this drink again? Like a mocha cookie crumble frappuccino. <laughs> it's that cookie oh, crumble part. Oh, wait. Yeah. The whipped cream. <laughs> the whipped cream. Oh, whipped cream. cream too? Stop talking. Stop. The whipped cream needs to be on the bottom. Mm. Wait, wait, wait. So you go to, you go to Starbucks with your big ass wash, big ass chain. Yeah, let me get a cookie crumble cappuccino. Yes. Make that shit extra sweet. No. Yeah. yeah. It was like that a part. five minute exactly. conversation about the whipped cream. Yeah, like, it was literally like 10 minutes cream? talking about the whipped cream. Yeah, go up to Please the make sure you put the cream let in me get my so what I took from this conclusion, Fresh ordered uh, <laughs> a sixth grade Becky drink from Starbucks. All right, fair enough. Exactly. Right, hold on, exactly hold on. We got Dean in here too, man. Shout out to my nigga Dean here, man. Hop in here real quick. Yo, <laughs> real talk, man. Let's Dean, go, defend me, though, brother. Please defend me, man, because he's from the islands too, man. Listen, <laughs> all I'm saying is that I don't drink coffee. You're on the ropes now, bro. Nothing can save you. It was sweet stuff that I wanted. So order sweet stuff. That's it. Mm. All right, nigga. No worries, yeah. bro. Okay. Everybody got a sweet stuff. Yo, Dean. Yeah, yeah. That boy Dean, what are you saying, bro? What are you, what are you saying, bro? Man, if, <laughs> if she gonna talk shit, I'm gonna talk shit. Oh, talk, shit. It. Talk your stuff. <laughs> How does microphone work? Yep. <laughs> 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 Chris, can you help him a little bit? God damn it. I mean, it, it's a mic. Know. All right, go ahead. So we're talking about cheating. We're talking about women. Uh-uh. We're trying to empower men. Uh oh, he changed the subject. <laughs> we're about right now. Yeah, he changing the subject. Yeah, I thought we were talking about. We're not food. talking about cookie crumbles. We're talking about Starbucks. Starbucks. Yeah, talking about moves. We're talking now. about women. Bon. Oh, your favorite. We're talking about the savagery of women nowadays. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Last week you were with this dude. This week you're with this dude. <laughs> I see everything. <laughs> 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 I'm not gonna say no names. <laughs> But I will say she's here. Oh. And she's beside Fresh. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh. Oh, because they don't know Wait, me. which one exactly, though? We gotta go out of there. <laughs> no, they don't no, know me. <laughs> no, she's by Fresh, but. Oh. Oh, you got something to wait, yourself, Miranda? Wait, wait. Oh. I feel like you were trying to expose me, but like, it's you have to like date around. I don't know. Hold she's on, single. you gotta come back. No, no, no. You, no, you, no, you, no, you no, gotta put a dress on that shit. You gotta put a dress on that shit. You gotta put a dress on that shit. You gotta put a dress on that shit. She's dating. Hold on, the dress on that shit. You told my son. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Let's normalize playing the bachelorette in your personal life. Hold on, hold on. I'll say this, right? I only met her like what? Two days ago. Two days ago. So we've been hanging out. What she did, what she did mm. before then, hey man, it's all fair and love and so war. You, but nah, listen, it's not, the, it's nothing 48. about, it's nothing about what's unfair. Yeah, it's about what women portray themselves as. 
Yes. Mm. I'm not gonna portray myself as somebody that's an angel because I'm um, not an angel. I never. I'm said a I pastor's was an kid. Angel. I'm the worst. <laughs> I'm a PK. <laughs> So it's okay, like, but here's the other thing is that like we do what guys do and then we get so much shit for it, but y'all do it and then you're like, yo, bro, that's savage as fuck. Like, good for you. But then when we do it, you're like, oh, you're a fucking whore. Yeah, I that's didn't call you right. a whore. I know you didn't call me a whore. I'm just saying. Like, I'm just saying it is that's what a it fact. is. It's like women, <laughs> w- women, women are more manipulative than men. I disagree. It's a fact. I agree. So to an, I agree to an extent, but like <laughs> we literally had a whole argument about yeah. this yesterday. Who manipulates yeah. more, men or women? But yo, y'all do it out because I'm I'm sitting on this, I'm sitting back on this one. I lost hair follicles yesterday. Now we good. Now we good. We good. We good. We good. We good. Nah, we good. It's not, it's, it's, I'm not making an attack on women. I love women. I, mm. I think women are, are are empowering. They can carry a child. They can nurture a nation. But I do think that nowadays mm-hmm. women are in the in the position. To do things that men are doing, you see what I'm saying? Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but don't okay. lie about it. Just keep it real. Well, um, this sounds like some feminist Who's stuff. Lying? Who's no. lying? Yeah. I mean, what? I mean, where did this come from? I mean, we didn't even get into look, that topic. Look, look, look. Yet. I'm look. not calling anybody liars here. I think, look, just I think don't you just said don't lie about it. That's we, all I'm saying. Who's lying we, for you to say that? He just, he just <laughs> talked. Look, why is he like, talking? He has a, your why opinion. Why is everybody like, I, I'm not like... I'll because you just started up. So yeah, you can hear you. You put the yeah. key in the ignition, so we in the car. Exactly. I just feel like he just, you know, he has so much money. Pause, pause, pause. All I'm going to say now, nigga, it's my turn. That's all I'm going to say. Okay, next. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I just feel like it's more of a freedom of speech of what he just said. He just wanted to say something, so he going to say what he has to say. And I feel you. You got something to say, it. you gonna say it, you know? Yeah, it okay. wasn't. I, think I feel like it was a little right. passive aggressive, but. No, yeah. no, no. Uh, I'm not a passive aggressive person. I'll tell you how it is. Okay. Okay. You don't know me. Well, oh, shit. Okay. You, know I mean? you did say you Anyways, weren't saying names. So. Okay. So, ladies, real quick questions now on the panel. Mm-hmm. Anything you wanna know? You can ask Dean too. Because Dean's on the panel now, <laughs> I guess. Nice. So, <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. When does lust expire? What, you said love lust? or lust? lust? When does lust expire? Oh, mm. <laughs> it, is it after too many nuts or after too many nose? Wow. After That's the first That's a very good question. When That's they tired. Very good question. They want somebody new. I'm, oh, I'm not a dude. Okay. I don't know. Okay. Either you tried it and you got tired of it or you didn't try it and I don't care. So I'm Colin, I want you to, uh, to, to like start off, bro. That's when does hard, lust end? That's a that's a hard one because uh, at some point, I guess, if you're serious with a person, you got to transition from lust to love, but I don't know where that begins and where it ends. So, I don't know. That's a good one. She's got me stumped there. Yeah? Yeah, and that doesn't happen okay. often, so. What about you? I'd say too many nuts because mm-hmm. t- too many no's. I, I don't think I'm going to be staying there for too many no's. If it's <laughs> no, it's no. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? No means right. no. So, if it becomes lust, uh, mm-hmm. it's going to be too many nuts. Mm-hmm. I don't think there's gonna be more than one no. If it's no, it's you know. I got mm-hmm. a follow up question after everybody. No, I, I can answer that question too. Mm-hmm. From from lust to love. Mm-hmm. Okay. No, for me, no, it's when, I, lust, when, it, when it expires, not when it turns to love. Okay, okay. When it expires, okay. When mm-hmm. I come to my when I come to my senses. <laughs> when, I, when you when wake I come, up, I come. To <laughs> when you roll over, to when senses. you when you when, yeah. when you come, you come to your senses. Wayne right. said. Wayne said that. <laughs> there you go. There it is. Well, hard come, hard lyric. To my senses, so, when is lust and for you, give it a check. I'm gonna be 100 percent honest, ladies. Uh, lust ends as soon as he finds a girl that's better than you. It all goes back. It all goes back to the credit score. Yeah, yeah. but 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 the thing is, is that like I, I always tell, I always say for women, like don't don't chase the lust because it's not gonna last long. What you need to do is get the man <clears throat> to love you. But just because a man loves you doesn't mean he's not gonna have sex with other girls. That part. Mm-hmm. So, so it, it, chasing after the lust, it's always temporary because you're never going to be able to quench a man's insatiable thirst for sex with other women. Yeah. Men love variety. No matter how good of a girl you are, he's going to want to smash other girls. But as long as he comes home to you, then you won. I have a comment on that one, though. What's the yeah. saying? Variety is the spice <laughs> of life. Yeah. I feel like... Merch. merch. For the comment yeah. on that is like, I feel like once merch. a man finds <laughs> his dream girl... Then good. that's when it's over with. But if he's not finding his dream girl, then it's like he gonna keep doing what he wanna do. With all due respect, that yeah. that doesn't change anything. Nothing. Mm. If he finds yeah. his dream girl, all he's gonna do is probably just work harder to, to lie about it. Yeah. But but yeah. It, it, the thing is, as I've always told women, is the higher you go up the ladder socioeconomically with the man that you date, the less of a chance that he's gonna be faithful to you only sexually. 
He's going to, you know, give, you're going to get the ring. You're going to get the last name. You're going to carry the kids, whatever, which in that case, you've won. But if he has the means and ability to cheat on you, he more than likely will exercise those options. And mm-hmm. girls just kind of, you just got to kind of accept that, that that's what comes with the territory when you deal with certain caliber of men. That's absolutely true. And then that's why it goes just like to each his own on that. I mean, yes, that does happen. So, so we're just more of like, hey, if you find somebody, it's just more on the person as well. It's like, hey, are you willing to take that? Like, this is what can happen or may happen. Some people can settle with it and some people cannot. So, yeah. But yeah, just I, we just tell girls end. if you're gonna deal with a guy that's six foot plus making over a hundred thousand oh. dollars a year, there's a high likelihood he, gonna he's happen. not gonna be faithful to you sexually. He'll be faithful to you love wise, but that's what matters is 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 what, the menstrual commitment through um through uh through provisioning and taking care of a woman, being willing to die for that woman. Women show that's us true, uh, women show their love by not fucking other people. Yeah. We show love very differently. <clears throat> Absolutely. And just so you know, there's many dream girls. So like, there's not not only one. There's many. Um, <laughs> but that being said, lust ends. I, I, I gotta say, lust ends when I feel like the guy is um merch, yeah merch. When the guy knows that, like, how to put this? Because you could bust, you, you could bust a lot of nuts, right? And it can end that way too as well. Mm-hmm. But I just, from what I've I've uh, seen is that like, if the guy is into the girl so much that like, Absolutely. um, she adds more than, than just sex, then it won't really end like that. But it'll end if it just it just if it's just like sex after like a while. So. Yeah, you got to bring well, something to the yeah. table. You got, yeah, you well, got to add more value. I guess it goes more, I mean, even though I just said like dream girls, but yeah, it goes more in depth with that as well. But uh, I can understand because what you said about like, mm. you can have multiple dream girls. That's true. It's like, okay, I see her as a fantasy. Like, yo, I like that. Like, she's physically of what I want. I'm attracted to that. But mentally, no. But that it seems to me we're going more into a different conversation. So then that's why I'm just like, but what you had mentioned about the dream, um, yeah. since I so, mentioned about the dream girl, there are different types so, of dream girl. But I'm not. You want to you want to know why your your theory is flawed? Because it's not dream girl; it's always dream girls. Yeah, yeah I was gonna yeah. say you've been listening to a lot of Rod yeah, Wave. Yeah, that's a good yeah. way to put it. Like, it's, it's always dream. Girls. I don't listen to Rod Wave like that, but shout out to Rod Wave though. Like, he do make good like let's let's see. The, like I want you guys to think about this, right? So so look at like guys that are like idolized and like followed by men you look yeah. at like a dan blazer you look at a hugh hefner you look at mm-hmm. uh you know a, a snoop dogg pimp whatever it is rappers when they're in music videos they have a lot of attractive women of different shapes sizes and colors right. in the music video the reality is is that it's very difficult for men to get a lot of to get women in the first place so if a guy has a lot of women his peers automatically respect it because they know that work that comes into it so if you leave a man to his own devices He's gonna go ahead and have sex with as many girls as he can. So what mm-hmm. I tell girls is, don't care, don't worry about getting his sexual fidelity. Worry yeah. about getting his like his love. Of course, you know what I'm absolutely. saying and support. Mm-hmm. And yeah. him, if he's willing to die for you and give you his last name, you won. If he smashes other girls, it's not that big a deal. But I know a lot of women wrestle with that and they can't deal with it because for you guys, you have to get to a certain place mentally to be able to fuck someone else. You can no longer love a man if you fuck someone else, but men can. That's the difference. It's a culture too. <clears throat> it depends on where you come from. It depends on the culture. It depends on where you grow up. You know what I'm saying? Like for for like Haitian people, Haitian women, they they have like a, a Western uh, Caribbean uh, take on it. They're the they're they're the leaders of the household. In Jamaica, it's similar. In in China, it's completely different. I don't know about in all Indian, stuff. completely different. In Qatar, <laughs> Middle East is completely different. But in America, a Black American woman or a woman that's in in a position to be of a culture where you know what I'm saying? Like, it's an American culture. They're they're not going to be okay with cheating. You know what I'm saying? Okay. It depends on the, mm-hmm. on the uh, community that they were grow, growing up in or the demographic that they came from. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm-hmm. When so, you so, mentioned that, now I'm over here kind of confused because you're saying that. So you're saying that women are the head of the household? No, I know no. you I mentioned about the Haitian. Car- I was like, hold no, up no. now. <laughs> in, a, in a Caribbean setting, like I'm saying, from I have a lot of Haitian friends. So I, I yeah. understand how it is. You know what I'm saying? Uh, not so. in my... Oh. Well, I know unless, what you unless, said for unless your all mom's the... submissive, then that's different. Yes, <clears throat> then that's different. But okay, okay. we're not going to go okay. with okay. that. Then, yeah. so, I, so I, James, I, did I ask your your question? Um, in a way, it did. Yes. Cool. I know you had an additional question. All right. <laughs> you have another question? Um, yeah. If the lust go past four years, what is that? Expire lust, or is that just? I don't that's know. just friends with benefits. They're not I getting married. Four to six much. years. Yeah, that's friends with yeah, benefits. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Exactly. I'm just cool as it. You just vibing. Friends of yeah, benefit. I was gonna say you're T vibing at that point. So lust after four years? Yeah, about four to six years. Yeah. 
they're not getting married if she's looking for that because she's still with that if she's still dealing she's not, with that person she's it's just like sexually dealing with her. She's nah interactive with she, she's just killing time she could be with somebody else it's probably an in between boyfriends thing Goes unless there the was same. a title I mean alright my last question I'm done the, um, I'll, I'll be honest the lust is dead that's, yeah. that's what yeah. it is yeah. 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 She, she, she's, she's, she's a convenience pussy for him yeah four yeah. years that, 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 that's, that's yeah, definitely you're dumb. Not, yeah it's it's ran out for your friend. That's all right. That's my asking. last my last question is: If a girl is too kinky or freaky, is that scary? No, no, no. absolutely not. Somebody is that, is that like material that. for wife or material? Hold for on, man. No, no, no. We got to give her proper advice on that. Like, yeah, don't show it up front. You got you got it. You got to build into that. Yeah, you got. I'm, I I got to give the lady some game. Like, you got to build into mm-hmm. it. You can't come out mm-hmm. doing a bunch of crazy shit off rip. Like, he's gonna think, oh, what the she probably does this everybody. Like, yeah. And and and, I, and again, some guys are gonna be okay with it up front. Like guys that are sexually experienced that deal with a lot of women, they'll be like, oh yeah, this is just a part of the game because they know real female nature. But most guys don't. Most guys think women are sugar and spice and everything nice, and they think, oh, like she's gonna be so an angel. So if, I, other if shit. I get too lit on the first date, which I have, not on the first date, but on the first, um, mm. outside of we're not serious, I know what we're doing. Let me show you how it I can backfire. Do it. You can you can, can, can like, scare guys away. You can what, scare guys away. You can scare them away. What, what's you know, too that kinky happened though? To me. <laughs> that happened to me. Now it's convenient. See, yeah, see? Nah, see? there you go. Yeah, you can. We ain't lie to you, Maya. We gonna tell you the truth. Like I took this guy to this area that's nobody know about Miami. I'm never gonna say it. I brought fruits there, drinks and stuff. Mm-hmm. I paid for the for the service. Keep it good. And he asked me what I had up my sleeve, and I was like, "God damn, I just want to have a good time. I have nothing up my sleeve." Like, mm-hmm. so I didn't know if I scared him when he said that. I'm like, "Damn, you should be happy. I'm doing. I don't never do this to nobody. It's like VIP treatments, but mm-hmm. that's not kinky though." You don't know what I did, so you don't know. I mean, the dog, 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 dog. You like them. I don't know what you I was you doing in that, in that time. But, so you liked them, of course. I would never hooked up with him if I didn't like him. Yeah, like mm-hmm. I, I would say, and I, I, sh- I shouldn't be saying this, but I'll say it. If you really like the guy, um, you, you want to build, yeah. build it up. You know what I'm saying? Because I've, always, I always say you. I, you wanna, I made him wait like a year. I felt like that was long what? enough. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The <laughs> first time he met me, he yeah. wanted to go downtown. Right? I didn't want to do that. And I didn't hit him up till like 11 months later. Oh, well, he didn't oh. hit me up till so 11 months later. Dates. Nah. You... Then, then, then what happened was he he, he just, he, he already had in his mind that he was yeah. going to just uh, smash yeah. and dash. Yeah. Because yeah. 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 you long. made him wait true. for so long. That's yeah. too long. Yeah. yeah. So, so long. You, you fucked up twice. You made him wait. And then on top of that, you gave him freaky shit. So that made him say, fuck this bitch times two. Well, That's damn, honest okay. truth. Yeah. Mm. That's honest truth. I'll never do that shit again. <laughs> no, there you no, go, man. No. I'll never turn up for nobody. Sorry. Yeah. You turn can down. turn up, girl. You can turn, turn up. You can. You can. You gotta slowly build. Yeah. I'll be lazy. Yeah. You gotta slowly build. Yeah. And then yeah. don't make a do wait for sex that long, man. Because if you do, he's. It expires. That's why I asked you in the beginning. Yeah. Does it expire after, yeah. like, I'm like, damn, I think 12 months is like. Expires isn't even a word. At that point, it's like, fuck this bitch. It's like revenge now. It's that point. a little mystery. No, that's true. I heard a lot of guys say that they revenge smash females. I'm like, then why you even smash her if it's a revenge? That's not even a lot. Because you still wanted it. He still wanted it, though. He's not going to turn down. You made the nigga wait. That's why. You're supposed to. I'm not going to just give it to you a year off rip the first day. 11 months? Come on now. But I mean, he, but he's still gonna go say like even though even old. though you had still gave it up it's like okay it took this long but hey I still got it but I made it worthy yeah. I done made I turned up on you after you love him I really turned I'm, up like he waited that long but the fact that he still got it it's then he like, asked he me what it. I got up my sleeve I'm like nigga <laughs> nothing the first time I didn't do anything the second time I do everything so yeah. eleven no, months later it's it's, it's it, you you basically just compounded the issue you made him wait and then on top of that you did freaky shit. So he already had in his mind when he l- linked up with you, like, I'm going to curve this bitch right after I smash. Yeah. And then you did that mm-hmm. stuff, and it confirmed it and cemented it in his head. I'm definitely going to curve this bitch now. That's why he said that. You know, and, and, and you know, just giving you the, Guys the, the honest assessment. <laughs> yeah, that's the truth, you know? It, it, like, it's not it even, uh, MJ, at that point, it's not even fucking lust anymore. It's Listen. like he was on re- full-on was revenge. Listen, fucking yeah. 11 and I paid years. for it, huh? Huh? 11 months yes come on SJ that's that's overdue that's there's right. nothing wrong with that I'm pretty sure you had so many coochies before me I don't I'm pretty sure you had Maya yeah yeah you've it. seen girls do less yeah but no the point is that like he wanted you right you help out yeah but him. do you want me in 20 minutes of even not need, that's my model name you don't even know my real name like doesn't matter know who doesn't I matter. am doesn't, doesn't matter. matter if you make a guy wait for that period of time he's definitely gonna hold against you lions he don't you, he's gonna smash and say you know what deuces first of all Lions don't ask zebras what's their name before they eat them. Who Simple as that. that. 
<laughs> this nigga Chris. <laughs> Come on, Maya. You, you've been oh, here. Yeah. For, lions don't ask zebras. What's your name before they dive into it? So I'm saying, Maya, I'm just saying, like you're, you know, you're a zebra. You know. And then also, you didn't have contact with him that 11 months, right? Was it because DM? No, it's not consistent. Um, of course not. Yeah, so, yeah. I wouldn't. Okay. I wouldn't leave someone on and just keep talking to them. Nothing's gonna happen. Um, I would just not yeah. say anything. Then yeah. I'll say something. And something's gonna happen. So it was like an on and off. Yeah, no, he, it was not on and off. Uh, it's just I would not keep texting you if we're never gonna meet and do anything. I wouldn't lie to you or make you feel like it's about to happen like that. I'll just tell you it's not gonna happen. But yeah. did he want to like see you or like when he hit you? He like, hey, let's. He hang didn't. Out. It was the first time we met. Mm-hmm. I was on his video shoot and he wanted to turned up with me and I said no mm-hmm. and I left it there and then 11 months later I turned up with him to the max then he didn't offer that at least like hey you know okay and let's, when you let's when y'all said earlier if a guy hit you up the next day I waited I did I waited on purpose and he texted me the next day I wanted him to call me but so when me. so question when you turned up were you with him in a room alone or what's going on in the scenario okay so then like it was guys fruits, know candles hot tub all right. sauna Girl. all that stuff all right. oh all right, I turned up. <laughs> okay, <laughs> all right. Eleven months too late, though. So anyway, yeah. let's continue. All right, <laughs> next question. Uh, okay, girl. Who's, uh, who's next? Who's next? Who, who, next has, who has a question? I have a question. Yeah, sure. Go, um, Shoot, go for it. Can I get personal? Yeah, yeah, sure, yeah sure. Okay. Uh, what's the freakiest stuff a girl has ever done in the bedroom? Oh shit! Damn. Okay. Colin, is that a question for the girls or is that no, a question, no, guys. For us? question for you guys? Oh, for us. Colin, oh, go. Okay. I was gonna say I, I don't do I don't fuck with the ass play, but other than that, it's it's fair game. You know what oh. I'm saying? There's there's really nothing that's gonna scare me away or turn me off. Like so, what's like the freakiest thing that you've ever experienced? I was gonna you name it. Like oh, I was gonna know. get my dick sucked with pop rocks and and <laughs> fucking ice cubes to to get my Shout toes to pop sucked. Pop yeah, pop fucking, I don't Not know what toes. you consider pop freaky. Cuts. Like I yeah, I, mean, I don't. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't think there's the a limit as long as you don't no ass play. Oh, that's no nigga said no play. booty hole. Yeah, as long as you don't go near that, we're good. Mm. Alright, go ahead. Okay. Does it have to be in the bedroom? Yes. Oh no. No 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 no. no, 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 no. Just the craziest the like, living room. Yeah. <laughs> Wherever. Really. Nigga said it's, it's a beach. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. The ocean to the the ocean to the pool to the bath. I don't. All within like an hour, probably. Um. And I, I can't even go in. I'm not even going into detail <laughs> right now. Sure. We can save it for another show. That's no yeah. problem. Yeah. yeah. I know y'all got stories. Yeah. What about you, bro? Excuse me, so what? Talking to me? Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh, <laughs> freakiest thing. Freakiest thing I've done. It was a th- foursome with three three oh. girls. That's the craziest shit ever. Okay. With ice. There was a lot of ice involved. Ice. <laughs> <laughs> Some ice. Lady. Nipple ice. Dick. Girls sucking my dick with ice. It was crazy. Yeah. Uh, me? No, yeah. you first. No, 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 you first. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yes. Damn, I lost this time. Sheesh. Uh, I mean, uh, yeah, I, I, the ice cube thing uh, with with the with the flacio. But like, girls have wanted to do like you know butt things or eating yeah. butt or any of that weird yeah. shit, and I always say no because I, I don't. Yeah. I, yeah, no you guys, you guys can go ahead and laugh. I don't like fetishes, man. Like, I don't like feet. I don't like anything no to toys, do. I don't like anal. I don't like any of this. This. Yeah. Uh, I don't like fetishes, man. So you've never yeah. sucked toes. No, uh, feet disgust me. Cool, thank you. No, see, I'm, <laughs> see, see, no, don't see, get no, 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 see, I'm big on feet. Oh. I got a theory because you okay. can tell a lot about a girl, like in That's her hygiene, true. by how she takes care of her feet. And Max. I see a lot of socks on right now, <laughs> so it's like. Yo. But here's the thing, like I, you can tell I, I mean, a lot about a girl by how she takes care of her feet. No, absolutely, like it's a good hygienic indicator. But like when it comes to like the sexuality, like involving it in the actual act, I'm like, oh, it's okay, strange. Like sucking toes or like touching them or Thank having you. them like oh, jack no, you off her feet, yeah. weird shit like that. Yeah. Like yeah, like I mean, I could look at it and be like, all right, her te- her her, her no- toenails are done. She's not a dirty slob to some degree. All right, mm. cool. <laughs> but like still feet. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, but the, the the whole concept of feet and using it for sexual acts is is ridiculous to me i've always yeah uh, like fetishes uh, i guess you guys could call me a boring dude but like yeah i don't like fetishes whatsoever even anal i'm not a fan of all right so i got you recently on the platform I got my toes, my toes sucked. Let's go. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. oh, oh, 4K. Say, hold on, I'm going to say one thing though. Let's 4K. So I have a cream, cream my, my, my toes in like Yo, it's <laughs> a week. Yeah, no. When you say and, cream, he means lotion. Sorry, lotion, lotion, lotion. Okay. lotion. Yeah. No. Yeah. And she sucked them. I was Americans. like, what the fuck? Wait, fresh. In, oh, in one week toes. though? Huh? In one week? Mm, what do you mean? Mm, mm. I mean, but like, like your feet's very ashy right now. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> but Bro, like, mind you, I met her the same day. <laughs> like what the fuck? Hey, 
was, well, that was crazy. Their delivery, she Amazon Prime. Uh, that's crazy. And it was uh, uh, yeah on the pod. But yo, guys, also do us a quick favor, man. There's like five thousand plus you guys in here. Please do us a quick like favor. Like the video, man. Like the goddamn Something video. There's only two point five k likes right now, man, which is fucking crazy, guys. Gosh, so really? guys, come on, man. Seriously. Help right. us out. We already got demonetized at this point. So like the video. Merch gang. Yeah, check us Cherry out. Merch. Gang. Uh, and also, guys, subscribe FNF to our gang. Clips channel, man. The fuck? Uh, Fresh and Fit Clips. Subscribe to the Clips channel. It's the top of the description. Or I'm going to put it there after the show. Um, okay, who's next? Okay. You. If you got a question. Go ahead. Well, mine's is not like a serious question. But like, why don't y'all like people to touch your butts? Like you know how like a girl touches her butt? Like wait, why? Wait, wait, why did yeah, No, like no, I don't mean like a what guy you mean? You touch your butt. Oh, you know how like your girlfriend will like touch your butt and like guys like oh don't Squeeze touch my butt. It? Yeah, mm -hmm. like why is it such a problem? <laughs> Because it's it's it's, it's, it's it's very it's close. Like, it's very close to the to the to the uh you know to the ass yeah. to the ass. So that's why like guys. Uh, it, you know, it's just that it, there's always that potential that it can happen, and like you know, some girls might try to slip a finger in there. Oh shit! No, don't do that. So uh, that's mm. that's why the okay. masculinity factor gets decreased a lot when you do that shit. Mm. Mm, okay. It's mm -mm. weird. Yeah, yeah, just don't point anything in it. You know. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, All right. Does that answer it? Cool. Yeah, I had a question. <laughs> sure. So, um, mine is about polygamy. Like, do you guys believe in polygamy? Do you guys like? Would you want to have a relationship with more than one girl to fulfill all it your exists. fantasies? Ooh. Oh, so it's this is a personal I'm just question. Going back to like dream girls, like you know, like obviously you guys can't have the full package, or like a woman can't be the full package to y'all. So does having multiple females who can work to all together be? I'll take it a step further. Even if she is a full package, you're gonna want other half packages. Yeah, <laughs> the men are greedy. That's what it looked like. Men yeah, are just discount. greedy. Men, no, men want vi uh, variety. That's why. So. Uh, you want to start? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Say that again. What's the question again? Polygamy. polygamy. Is it is polygamy? It, is it for you or not? No, nah, I mean it depends. Like it, it's like uh, it's like my boy said. You could have the full package, but you're still gonna want. You know what I'm saying? When the when the when the when the cat's away, the mice will play type vibe. <laughs> oh, that's so, a good one. I like that's, a, that. that's a good one. <laughs> you got to stay in my face. You know what I'm saying? Otherwise, I might get bored. <laughs> mm. Yeah, but two full packages is way too much. I feel like one full package and then some half packages is good. But when you got two full packages, like two op like open relationships, that is just yeah, way. I feel works. like that's not gonna happen. So you want a wife and a mistress? <laughs> it was, it, I, I, I never said that. I'm just saying it's gonna be a a, a lot mm. easier to handle than two wives. True. Okay. I think it's a cultural thing too, like he said, like bro said. Yeah, it is. I don't know All, right, All right, so this is what you know, let me give you a scenario, a situation that happened mm -hmm. with me. Um, for the reason why I'm single right now, I was gonna get married three years ago. I did the whole thing, went to Spain to meet her family, all types of shit. And I'm the type of person that grew up in a good family. I had a pastor as a father. My mom's a psychologist. Come from a decent background. Came to America. Came from nothing. Became something. And this this girl, she was half half Dutch, half Nigerian, and she was the world to me. Mm -hmm. I went to Spain, met her mom, found out her mom was a cokehead, was selling coke. <laughs> <laughs> it was crazy shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So long story short, I realized women, it depends on what your situation is, where you come from, um, it can really affect you. And you're supposed to accept the flaws. But if you don't choose, let's like Bob Marley said, you have to choose the person and accept the flaws with them because nobody's perfect, right? Mm -hmm. So if we know in this society, in this age, with technology, NFTs, fucking Instagram, this, that, the third, it's even harder to accept flaws because we cut through the bullshit and get to what we want, right? Mm -hmm. So it's like, how can you find the perfect person nowadays? It's you tough. To, getting to know them. You got to get to know Off them more. You got to not be instant everything. Cause everything's instant. Instagram is instant. Uh, food is instant. Mm -hmm. Instacart is instant. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's like, it's tough. It's tough for, for you to really like find somebody that you really love and care. So the reason why we didn't work out was because her mother was involved. It's my social media is, is too lit. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? My business was, was growing up at the time. I was broke when I met her, and now I'm getting money. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's it's really, really tough. 
Yeah. So uh, whatever you want in a person, there's no perfect person. Right. You just have to accept the person that you love and care about. Okay. And even if they cheat on you, if eventually they will, you have to accept it. Cool. Especially because we are in the age of mm-hmm. instant gratification, like he said. Exactly. Okay. I got to comment on that one, but go ahead. Myron, yeah. uh, go, go ahead. Uh, I'm st- <laughs> oh, you st- okay, you- I was taking some notes, but you want right, You want me to just go? Yeah, yeah, you go mm-hmm. first. Uh, we, I, was, I was willing to rock, so, paper, scissors if so you want. But. Your question is, do we believe in polygamy, right? Mm-hmm. So me personally, uh, I don't because uh, if I'm with somebody, like I just made that, that choice to be with them. That being said, if I want to do my thing, I'll just be single. But right. that's that just my, my take on it. So, go ahead. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, I think polygamy absolutely is works, and it and it's a, an effective way for for guys to to get to kind of get satisfied. Because for a woman to get satisfied, she just has to make sure she gets it, but she can get the best guy that she can get. Right. You know what I'm saying? But for a man, you would need to men want variety. So, I think polygamy is is great. It's existed since the beginning of time. Like women, if you really break it down, are hardwired to to, to share men. They are. You know, like a, a, a woman would prefer to be a mistress to a high value man than have a loser all to herself. Mm. Damn, he just I see knowledge. Is that the answer? Is that good? Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, I would right. I, I'm going to have multiple wives myself. You know, I grew up in a Muslim household, so it's already kind of mm. it's it's in the culture. Mm. But like, e- even if I wasn't, it, let's let's <laughs> thank you. Even if I, if I wasn't Muslim, I would still like the p- polygamy works. It's like how how societies have propagated since the beginning of time like all the women you know because obviously we live in a first world country you know very nice and convenient electricity all this other stuff but before this like women had to pick the best guy that can provide them security from the from you know a, a, you know other men uh the wilderness the elements etc so there was a reason why like you know i've always said like women are like chris brown always said famously these these hoes ain't loyal these i argue that loyal. it's it's natural for women it, i would argue for a woman to be loyal goes against her ability to survive. And, and I'll, yes. I'll, let me peel the layer back on this. Yeah. <laughs> so the reason why is because since the beginning of time, right, human mm-hmm. beings have been at war, conquering lands, whatever. So an army would come in and invade, Yeah. right? And they'd kill the men and all the fighting age boys and they'd take the women. And the women had to understand that you need to acquiesce to your new conquerors, right? right. So they had to be able to align themselves and adapt to the situation to survive, to protect themselves and obviously, you know, offspring that were there. So... Mm-hmm. Women are the weaker gender. They're the more vulnerable gender physically. So they have to t- submit to a man's will. It's only in modern day times that women kind of can like Absolutely. pick and choose who they want. Right. But before it did not like that. You look at like someone like Genghis Khan, like something, some crazy percentage, like two to 3% of everyone in Asia has some of his DNA in there because he was running around smashing everybody. <laughs> so it's against the woman's best interest for survival to be loyal. So as soon as a guy understands that, he can kind of maneuver the marketplace correctly and not get mad when girls do the shit that they do because women are not designed to be loyal. They're designed to find the best, strongest, and brightest and align themselves with that. And unfortunately, a lot of girls, there's not many guys that meet these metrics. So uh, since it's a small percentage of guys, they're having all the girls. You know what I'm saying? It's been that way since the beginning of time. Uh, Like what, something like only 40% of men have procreated since the dawn of time, whereas like 100% of the women have procreated. What does that tell you? A lot of guys die without ever spreading their seed because they weren't, they didn't rise to a certain level. So, you know, polygamy right. is always, it's always been around. It, it, it's how the world <laughs> began. You know, the high value men took all the women and the losers had no scraps and didn't get to procreate. So it is what it is. But then, you know, I, I understand. I respect on what you're saying because you know what, when you kind of think about it, it's like, then you have other men where it's like, they're not even hitting that criteria, but they're mm-hmm. mentioning the fact that where it's like, oh, like these women, they want they're gold diggers or whatnot or you know just seeing all you know those type of stigmas or whatnot yeah but it's like as a woman it's like yeah they they supposed they follow they're gonna go to the men who lead of course yeah it's just like how the lion is you know it's like that's how it goes it's like i'm going to go to the one who is the man of the house like the man of the household you feel me so it's like that's how it just goes yeah it's biology you're gonna go by Yeah. yeah you're gonna go by the person who i know is gonna protect is going to protect not only myself but the kids the yeah, family you, you worried about is the head of the household you don't want somebody where it's like okay now i'm stepping over your feet it's like i'm a woman and you're a man but now you're making me feel like i'm the masculine one so yeah. now i'm the head of the house you very uncomfortable and then it's like that's Doesn't not work. what a woman that's not what a woman wants a For woman sure. wants to you know she 
she's going to submit. She's going to submit to the man who is going to show that he is the man of the household. I'll make you know it easy I mean? for you. She wants to just be pretty, show up, and have the guy plan everything. It's as simple I as mean, that. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's for, what it is. There's a reason I mean, why Grey's, uh, you know, Fifty Shades of Grey is such a popular book. The guy exemplifies all the traits that women find arousing. He's attractive, mm-hmm. tall, makes money, uh, mm. is dominant, you know, is able to control the bedroom, control her and other things. These are things that women look for. It's mm. just that very few men exhibit all these traits in one person. That's why that book was a bestseller for so long because so few men mm-hmm. meet these metrics. But since so few men meet these metrics and it's highly desirable, right. what does that mean? All the girls want him. That's why I tell women all right. the time when you meet a guy like that, you have to accept the reality that you're going to have to share him sexually. Was, okay, that's true. But then it also goes where it's like, okay, yeah, I just, and I just lost my stuff right now. But um, okay. too much <laughs> facts. <laughs> no, you're not but disagreeing just, with me. You're just like it's. Um, I think no, I, I, I mean, I'm we, noticing. We talking, uh, I'm listening yeah. to you. I, I was watching you as I was speaking. I was connecting some dots for you there. Yeah, explaining some like, things because it's just more of like, okay, like now what situation that's going on right now is like nowadays not everybody would come in from a home that had a mother and father Mm -hmm. so then now they mostly see is like they may come from a single mother and now they would mention it's like oh well my mother was a hard-working woman so that's what i want from my woman but then again it's like okay (laughs) but what about you are you going to get to the plate or are you just assuming that okay well the woman is going to be the one who's going to take you know like take charge of everything and i feel like with some women they do take charge like they are now the man of the household when the man is now the feminine one single mother households are probably one of the biggest predicators of uh, a child being a failure in society and And the stats show it you know that you know drug addicts school shooters criminals felons violent rapists everything yeah if you look at them Nine out of ten times they come from a single parent household, and then let's be honest, single parent household most of the time is a single mother household. Women mm-hmm. win ninety percent of the uh, the child custody cases. So, yeah, yeah I mean, a, a woman cannot teach a little boy how to become a man. Period. They need to have a father. They figure. need they need a father yeah. figure. You know what I mean? And and that's what it is, and that's the importance of a man, and th- that's why a higher status guy is so rare, and why so many women yeah. will share him. And and polygamy actually works because if you have. Um, a bunch of uh, f- d- women living with one man in a, under a house, they can all take care of the children together. Mm-hmm, right. You know what I'm saying? So you don't need a fucking daycare. You don't need any of that shit. The thing That's is, though, true. is that the guy has to be in a, in a position where he can actually provide for all of them. And, you know, as long as you know, takes care mm-hmm. of that. Hey, you can't have two wives unless you could provide the same resources to the second wife that you do for the first wife. So there's yeah. checks and balances there. Only certain men can do it. But, absolutely you know women will share a guy if he's high value enough is, is a thing so i think polygamy works i absolutely believe in it and i would be i would you know i would have multiple wives myself you know which is why i'm working on myself you know to get to that point right. where you know you can't be broke and do it obviously but so, yeah. yeah would you have kids with all of your wives 100 percent. there's no other reason to get married as a man unless you want to have children i think it's it's pointless for you to get married if you're not gonna have kids mm. i okay. got one more question too risky mm-hmm. uh sh- sure uh yeah, wait, did let, anyone else let, have some let's let yeah. the other people yeah, I got a question. Uh, so, one of my friends, right? He lives in um, in Qatar, and you know they have the World Cup there next year. Shout out to Qatar. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, he has three wives, mm-hmm. but he only has kids with one. Mm. Why is that? Damn. Like, why is it that? And then he don't mix with them. He don't fuck all of them at the same time. They all separated. So smart guy. House. He don't want to. He don't want headaches. Yeah, and, and he told me because of the menstrual cycle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, oh yeah, yeah. Because they all get it at the same time. Oh, you got to yeah. cycle them out. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, and like, then other like crazy. the only reason I could see like you would put all the women in the same house is if you guys all have kids. Because mm-hmm. then that way you could like you, you can kind of spread the label with, like dealing with the kids. But yeah, I mean, I, I I think that's smart. Like if he only has kids with one, yeah, don't put the, all of them together because then you're just opening yourselves up to, uh, to to headaches and shit. Oh, okay. So I could I could see yeah. that. Okay. Uh, so uh, sorry. I I did have one more question. So with the polygamy thing, how you said that that's better for men to you know explore their fantasies or whatever. So if somebody agreed to do the polygamy, mm-hmm. is that enough? Like the the people that are in the polygamous relationship, or you're still gonna want to be with somebody else outside of that? Me I personally, or like guys, you, like, so. you and other guys. I mean, I I mean, I always say a guy's only as faithful as his options. So. He's probably gonna still want to <laughs> smash other girls anyway, man. Like, it, so it's not enough to just like say, okay, let's be in a polygamous relationship. So you okay, can just, just be just with us. Okay, just just for the record, this is not for every man. Yeah. He's just saying, generally speaking, 
Yeah, for yeah. yeah, yeah you yeah, said yeah. you you look like you taking this shit to heart. No, yeah. I'm just <laughs> asking because I'm going this off his answer. If you lined up, if you lined up, I, I, I'll put it nice and succinctly. If you lined up a hundred men, I would argue ninety of them are going to tell you, yeah, I'm just going to smash as many girls as I can. And you know, for the guys out there, no, I only want one girl. Okay, give that guy a blue check, a Lamborghini, two million dollars, and let's see how how mm-hmm. many uh, one girls he's just going to have. So we'll just go with. He's status. just going to be as faithful as options. So, you know, that's that's uh, that's what it is. At you have some? Yeah. If a guy, if a girl has no female friends, no girlfriends, is that a red flag or a green flag? Big red flag. Because some yeah. guys don't want girls She's to stinky. have girlfriends because they influence them. They but if you have none, out. then you all around your boyfriend. So you want to hang out with guys instead? No, it's just that maybe I want to hang out with you only. So no friends? That's not healthy. You, my friend. <laughs> that isn't healthy. It's, it's a double-edged sword. Me, amigo. It's a double-edged sword because... I know why women don't have uh, why so many women don't have female friends. I I know why. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it, 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 I'll be honest with yeah, you. What do you think? If you could pick between having a, a male friend or a female friend, you're gonna a male friend has far more utility. Yeah, a female. A fe- I'm a, I'm gonna be so honest. All my probably one female I know probably makes more money than me, can guide me and let me know, and that's equivalent to what a man could bring to me. Mm-hmm. All my female friends be telling me about some female stuff like nails hair men i don't care about that yeah because i do that every day but yes that's i mean i i'm someone who i don't have many female friends unless they this might sound weird unless they bring male qualities to me besides sex obviously i'm not interested in, fem- yeah. in females but if they could guide me or put put me on the more money players and stuff then i'll listen to them which a lot of females don't have because they don't it's not required for them to have that yeah but I mean, you're speaking for a lot of women that would be very scared to say something like that. But what I've come to realize, because at this point we interviewed hundreds of girls on the show, Mm -hmm. is a lot of girls have male friends and they prefer to hang out and maintain those male friends over their female friendships. Because with the male friendships, there's at least utility. Even if the guy wants to fuck them and he's friend zone. It doesn't matter because when you're with that guy, what what benefits do you get? You get that masculine energy. You get that presence. You get that um, almost unspoken of protection. Right. Well, uh, if something were to happen, you're with a man versus being with a woman. Uh, it, 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 you get the leadership qualities. You get a bunch of benefits, and then hell, hell, if you're finessing them, you're getting free dates, all this other shit. And he does it. He might think I'm gonna smash one day, but you're in the back of your mind like, nah, bro, like, uh, <laughs> like nah. But but there's so much utility from dealing with a man because men are born and men understand that they have to add value. Protecting. Period. So that's a red flag, green flag, or in the middle? Well, it, yeah, yeah. It, it's kind of a yeah. it's, it's in the middle because yeah, it, it sucks both because. When you when you have you you have the guy friends because I get why women do it, but at the same time it's gonna disqualify you from a lot of men. Or if they do fuck with you, they're gonna say you need to drop those guys. That's true. So, but then if you don't have girlfriend, but having girlfriends, I see where you're coming with that because it, if you have whole girlfriends, that's when it's a problem. Yes, a lot of the times. yes, exactly. that's what it is. If you got like girlfriends that are you know always want to turn up and we say to girls and all this extra shit yeah then guys are going to have issues with that because birds of a feather flock together so yeah that's what he always yeah it's true but if you have female friends that are all married and boring he's going to be like oh yeah hang out with them it's safer yeah (laughs) okay risk mitigation who anybody anybody else got anything no all right they're like fuck these guys all right super (laughs) chat real quick all right cool uh let's see here we got um chris what do we got Mm mm-mm Oh, Chris in the bathroom. Yeah, cool. Never, uh, uh, he'll okay. be back. So <laughs> I see that last one th- comment though. Last thoughts on the show. <laughs> Hate it, love it. How how was the show? We'll start here. I'm sorry, what was the question? Last thoughts on the show. I got you. Stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for that. Um, don't drink too much while you're on here. Because <laughs> 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 you'll end up like me. All right. I have no thoughts at this point. Fantastic. Love it like usual. All right, it's a vibe. It's cool. Cool. <laughs> My favorite. <laughs> Great. <laughs> All right, well, you Great. said more than her, so <laughs> one more answer. <laughs> God damn! Someone's representing Philly. All right, cool. Yeah, I always Thanks, enjoy so. the show. So. All right. Yeah, it's a great show. It's very crazy. You can say fuck you if you guys want to. Fuck you. Fuck you. Like, yeah. Yeah. Like, fuck you. you. Yeah. like, we had a bunch of girls yesterday that hated us. Like, you know. It happens. Have you all seen the episode with the girl talking about calling people toy soldiers? That oh, yeah. That mad was fucking horrible. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. There was another right. set of girls we kicked out. Yeah. 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 So <laughs> how do you get kicked out? 
Uh, being dumb as <laughs> yeah, um, so here's the thing a lot of people say like oh Myron you kick girls off because they disagree with you actually no yeah. and I brought plenty of girls on that like disagree mm-hmm. with me all the time like Red for example disagrees with a lot of the shit I say but we bring her on because she's cool like as long as like it's typically when girls are like disrespectful or loud or over talking too much yeah. and hurting the quality of the show mm-hmm. that's when it like becomes an issue because then it's like um, like if we're just talking here like we can hear each other but like for the audience when people over talk on the mics it sounds really fucking bad yeah. so mm-hmm. um, it's just bad radio so yeah, when they're disrespectful or whatever like that or just being annoying or they're like th- to a point where they're like compromising the show's uh, quality, then I got to like remove them. I used to kick them off for far less, but I'm like, you know what, man? We'll have them on. It is what it is. Even yeah. if it's stupid for a bit, I'll tolerate it as much as I can. But then I gave them like two or three warnings and then they're being stupid and they're just like... <laughs> What's I think a warning? I think it's more of like people just being very like defensive on certain topics or conversations. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm thinking it's that as well as it's like people they just don't agree like sometime i watched another show and then they have mentioned um woman would say oh why are you in woman like why are you in woman business like for dudes they're like why are you in woman business <laughs> so they get defensive about it yeah but it's I, like it's a learning yeah it's a learning opportunity like you're actually learning something understanding from a man's mm-hmm. point of view and you're also hearing it from a woman's point of view you know what i mean so it's like right but some some women and men defy logic and they just choose to defy logic no matter what's going on no mm-hmm. matter how much it makes sense they just want to fight it yeah and, and the thing to what i've his own. come to learn <laughs> is um the things we say are unconventional they're not politically correct you know they're yeah. you know we get hit with the whole uh Misogyny. <laughs> yeah, all the time. Bro. <laughs> Got him. Like, or, or the fucking. How dare you? And it's not, uh, it, it's not misogynistic. It's realistic. We just tell the truth. But the thing is, is that a lot of guys can't speak openly like this. Let alone speak openly like this to women to their mm-hmm. face and tell them, yeah, your history matters. Yeah, you can't act like a masculine, aggressive, you know, lunatic. And guys are gonna not gonna take you serious. Like, yeah, you should be feminine and dress nice and not be fat. Like, if you say things like this nowadays, mm-hmm. you get labeled a massage, small dick energy asshole, canceled. So guys can't speak like this. Hell, we've had dudes lose their jobs just for listening to our podcast or right. people seeing them listening. Yep. So men can't mm-hmm. talk like this. So when we when I say this stuff to them in their face in a direct manner, uh, live on air, oh, what the fuck? He's challenging my worldview beliefs. This mm-hmm. is not the way I see the reality. Uh, this is not my reality. This has got to be wrong. But what they don't understand is that their reality is kind of protected because society cancels men that speak this way. Mm-hmm. I that, do want to say something about Dave that, Chappelle. but then it's a tough one. There you go. Great, great example. example. Yeah, yeah Dave Chappelle's a They're trying example. to cancel him right now. You know what I'm saying? With mm-hmm. the sticks and stones. So, yeah, and, and then the new one, uh, Closer. So mm-hmm. thing is, he's too big to get canceled and all those. So. Yeah, yeah, facts. Yeah. Yeah. I facts. got one more question. Or are we done with sure. questions? Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead, Mike. Do you feel as if Merch. this term from Steve Harvey, think like a man, act like a woman, do you think that applies to both genders? Or none. Situational. Because I think like a man. I like a woman. I get frustrated like a man sometimes about some things. Like where I get annoyed. And I don't know if that circumvents me around men who act like women because I'm thinking like a man. Thinking like a man will make you dangerous. Yeah. It's yeah. good. Yeah. It, because you're you're going to lose. Because the problem with women is y'all, y'all lose. Uh, you, you guys use emotion, emotion far too yeah. much. to Women. Uh, and, and this is statistically proven. Shout out to our boy Roll Tomasi. Like. Women base a lot of their decisions off of emotion, not mm-hmm. logic. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So if you think like a man and use logic, you're going to avoid making a lot of bad mistakes that can fuck you up. You know? Um, I Sometimes I, when I have chose to think think like a man, or maybe I've exposed that I've been thinking like a man to some men, that it, it's like a not a good, not the reaction that mm-hmm. I want. Some men have called me nonchalant or... Because I don't be feminine. emotional like a woman, or I don't Femininity. be overly expressive and touching on you. You like still a be woman. feminine, but you think like like every, all your moves are calculated. Like though is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, and a lot of I've from what I've been through, men notice that and they move around it as the homie and not as the wifey. So I'm as like, time progresses, you you'll understand the situations. You have to think like a man. That's all right. Yeah, I do now, but I'm I'm. I, someone told me I was too logical before, and I'm like, damn, they don't think I'm emotional, or they think I'm like a piece of furniture. I don't show no emotion because it's not smart too sometimes. But. It's a thin line. It's a thin line. Right. I'm yeah, trying like to get married. I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to get married. Girl. I mean, you gotta be you gotta be feminine too, uh, of course. Because I like, feel like I'm feminine enough. My nails, makeup, and hair. But when it comes to speech and stuff, and <laughs> no, but it's also yeah, how you present yourself. I cook. Like, I clean. I do women stuff. I. Yeah, eat but, meat. I but, do that too. But guys don't want when you re- 
reveal the game. So don't reveal the game. Just act. You yeah, know, you got you, you got to play. Like, downplay it. Yeah, downplay. You can't be a hard time. Downplay your awareness. Yeah, you can't yeah. be. Don't tell me you watch Fresh. Saying what's up. Yeah, you fuck with us. All on. Yeah. Don't say you fuck with us. Yeah, yeah, you can't. Don't do it. But you watch them. Oh fuck. I'm out of here. Come on, Sam. And don't wear black Air Forces on your day. Don't do it. Don't do it. I just so quick. You know, someone stole my my black Air Forces, the high top ones. Yeah, of course. They surprise to wear it to steal it. Yeah. Yeah, he had to use it for his ski mask ensemble. Send the boys be up. He had a gas station to rob. We got extra support. Them straps help. And now it's coach. Guys, like the goddamn video. For real, man. Like the video. Ten bucks. One male playing the game. One male while working construction is no different. Only difference is you're not alone for 10 hours to do some stupid shit behind my back. I feel like you're busy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's JFE, 10 bucks. How about yes. this? I'll start playing the video games all day if women stop being in their phones all day. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. There you go. That's real. Okay. Oh, you got a rebuttal for that? If your brain isn't too fried at this point. Wait, why did you... Well, <laughs> so, okay. he, so he's saying, um, <laughs> basically, stupid. you start playing video I'm games sorry. all day if you start being on your phone all day. Wait, because you said uh, guys who are on games all day are just. Like, I'm actually like never on my phone. I actually hate my I, phone. I'm not a texter. I will, no, no, no. I will back no, her no, up. No, no, Miranda no, no. is okay, okay. not on her phone. I ain't gonna lie. She barely uses her, her phone at all. No, I don't like to be on my phone. Like, I've, if I wasn't there, I wouldn't believe it, but she doesn't. She <laughs> no, doesn't I actually really don't. It's not cap. No yeah. cap. Put it down. Put it yeah. down. Yeah. I mean, I, no I know cap. it's not cap, but you know. <laughs> You guys, I actually do have a question. Um, Take the fucking good. hell. This is a little tough one, though. Um, it's about body positivity. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, yeah. Wait, let's finish this. We're just this, this first. Yeah, yeah okay. Well, well, I'll hit. I'll, yeah. I'll hit that after, though. No problem. Uh, bougie. I'm not a feet person, but I bet somebody <laughs> want to see y'all feet. That is true. Facts. We got a guy that comments actually on the chat that said, hey, I can see the girl's feet. It's, that's mm. hot. So I'm like, okay, guy. Uh, the plot twist. The girl next to Myron saying it was a couple weeks wasn't with the guy she brought on. That's how girls come back on the show single after being in a relationship. No, it was him, bro. <laughs> uh, okay, we got five bucks. Uh, Colonel Sanders, thank you so much. Colonel Sanders. Uh, yeah, Colonel, shout out to him with the fried chicken. Uh, Ronald Saluki with the 2,000 Japanese yen, bro. Shout out to you all the way in Japan. Damn fresh 13-year-old blonde girl. <laughs> Who? I think you call, are you saying that? <laughs> That's the cookie, cookie crumble. crumble. Cookie crumble mm. frappuccino. Shut up. Nice. Okay. And then we got Chris Hill. $20 message deleted. He probably made fun of Chris's hairline. Uh, <laughs> Salone uh, Wolf. Fresh ready. If you must cross a course, cross. Oh shit! Okay, fresh. This is for you. Oh, okay, so no. fresh ready. I was <laughs> reading and I was like, "Oh, this is a tongue twister." Never okay, mind. Cool. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> All right, go ahead. If you must cross a course, cross cow across a crowded cow crossing. Mm. Cross a cross course cow across a crowded cow crossing carefully. Well, Bam. I mean, God damn. Right. Right. Okay. Well, what you gonna do now? What you gonna do now, niggas? Yeah. He's My nigga fresh. Yeah, bus, official read. contrast. I believe women are much more emotionally invested compared to men when it comes to giving up their bodies. It absolutely takes a toll on female long-term mental health. Yes, it does. It does. Definitely. Take and then we got Hong Van Tran. Big 100 hey, super chat. Australia. Yo, Yo we, got, we got the whole world watching, bro. Yep. Uh, like Great Brit uh, great, we got Great Sorry, Britain in the house. Way, but the Canada, Australia, fucking um, Sheesh. Yeah, Japan. Japan. Yeah. Yeah. All yo, over, man. Yo, we lit, man. Thank you guys so much. We appreciate so all the fresh, love. So fresh. The chat is definitely going uh, crazy for you right now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Shout out to y'all, man. Okay. Uh, <laughs> my man, Myron, hit the uh, art, retard alert button. <laughs> the first few times I wanted to give you guys my love plus support, I accidentally didn't write nothing on the super chat. <laughs> Glad to catch you guys live as our time difference and my busy work life makes it hard. Love you, FNF fam. Thank, Thank you, brother. so much, bro. Yeah. Welcome, Appreciate FNF you, bro. Fam. Games. 10 bucks. Uh, Mandalorian. Tell the buzzkill hater on the couch to watch the video from earlier today. He will get past this hurt to big O's go hard. Hey. Gush is SJ. You got something to say back to him, bro? He tried, Thank he you for watching that video. Thank you so much. Y'all watch, watch Big O's. This is a good video. It just came out three hours ago, four big hours o? ago. Who's the hater on the couch? Yeah, I was going to say, which one of us was hating? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> the, the, the I, think, I, th I think they mean uh, with Dean. With the hoodie. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. What, what was mm -hmm. I hating on? I don't even know what I was hating All right, so really getting fresh or Martin? He goes, tell the buzzkill hater on the couch to watch the video from earlier today. He will get past this hurt. To, uh, two big O's goes hard. Good ish. SJ. Well, he didn't well, say anything I, about her music, bro. Oh, I know. Yeah, big I, I, think, I think he meant. Oh, that was her publicist. He meant, he meant with the, uh, Shout out to your publicist yeah. for that. With the thing about her. I think yeah. that's what he meant. Oh, oh, with her. Yeah. Oh, that she was just seeing another guy. Yeah. Oh. Okay. I mean, honestly, yeah. like, like, like. All right. So, so my. We know that though. We know all girls. No, no, no. But bro, like, hold on, chat, chat, chat. You gonna sound right, bro? Like. A girl single means that she's talking to people, bro. Like, you're not going to have one girl just for you. Like, bro, yeah. I met her, like, recently. So if she was doing it with somebody before, 
well, what I got to do with me? I'm like, we, yeah. just, we, we just met, bro. It's like, yeah, it's, it's, luckily. It's, it's not even about hating, but to, to, to answer yeah. your question, go suck your mother. <laughs> oh, there straight up, straight up, straight up. There you go. Yo, we, t- we tell y'all, man, like, don't get attached, man. Don't, don't get don't. attached, guys. Just uh, return, bro. Uh, expires first time she asks for money. Okay. Ooh. Oh, no. Oh, the, um, oh okay. The lust. Uh, the lust. The lust thing. The Brendan Noghetto, 20 bucks. Super sticker. Thank you so much. We got BSP all the way from India. The mistakes uh, with 200 Indian rupees. The, the mistakes women make in a dating is they met. They meet, meet good, good men, men, but they look for better, but forget that good is better than bad. Mm, Ooh. Okay. Very interesting. Yeah, that's very true. That's we true. talked about that with the husband store analogy. Uh, Hater, wait, eh? Wait, wait. Uh, sh- nope. Okay. Now, okay. A man that builds up a woman will grow <laughs> to love her. A woman that builds up a man will grow to resent him. Those are facts. Don't go against nature. That's very true. True. Uh, L- Eli T. T. Do you think the art of femininity is dead? Because mm. older women are not helping younger women to learn the art. Femininity is an art, and it's powerful if you know how to apply it. That's very true. I think it is dying. Uh, but that's what happens with feminism, bro. It is yeah. what it is. Uh, okay, and then 10 bucks from Fazzy Allen. I think if I had two women and they both, being good women, cook, clean, and help me raise these children, I wouldn't cheat on them, but I still respect their approach, man. Yeah, mm-hmm. I mean, it, you know, it, it is what it is, man. Uh, Lance yeah. Vance, uh, 20 bucks Canadian, uh, he goes... Uh, at the top, Chris. Oh, okay. Most men have enough to do what's necessary. Bills mm-hmm. paid, money invested, and kids healthy. What else is needed? Oh, wait. Maybe if I start a restaurant, all these chicks are going to die alone. <laughs> <laughs> Bodybuilder oh, hunting season. Oh, wait. Can't... Uh, no, 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 no. Okay. Uh, shout out to the YouTube channel, <laughs> Living a Life of Abundance Equal. The modern day woman wants to be treated like a queen, but she's probably taking Yo. more loads than a washing machine. Yo, oh, niggas are ruthless, bro. They are hilarious. Uh, bougie. And then bougie. 15 bucks. Every time Chris talks, it sounds like beatboxing. Oh, <laughs> shit. Your mom. No oh, man, uh, and then Angel Cardenas. I think he wanted to clown the girl back because she was clowning on Fresh. LOL came out wrong. Oh, okay, yeah, he's the, okay, yeah, yeah. And then five well, no, star. It, it was friendly banter though. Like, like I know it was just like, yeah. Boy, no, you ordered a cappuccino. No, he All right, it's not cool. friendly. That's All right. funny. All right, we're fine. All right, fair enough. Okay, uh, body positivity. Okay, so. This is a little tricky one because this actually had happened. Um, a friend of mine was actually having a conversation when he said, um. When a woman is a little bit bigger uh-huh. and right. you can tell, like, she needs to work out as a man. Fat. What do you tell? And that's your friend. What do you tell that woman? Like, hey, I think you need She's to slow down. Friend? We need to work out. Or She's a platonic friend? This is not me direct. This is just somebody else. But, like, he had mentioned about a conversation like that. And I was like, well... I don't know. That's a little tough one because if that, like, if okay, if that's your friend and she's, you know, a little, you right. know, on the bigger side, um, what, what do you say in that situation? Do you not say well, nothing depends. and let her like? It depends. Is it his? Is it like? Because I, I need to know the context under how they're Are friends. Are they hooking up or not? No, this yeah. is just friends. Like, hey, platonic. you know, we're friends. Like, platonic. Thank you, okay. platonic friends. But here's the thing. Um, they were doing, I guess, like walking around and like let's just say we're going walking around the plaza yeah. or going somewhere, and then we're noticing. I'm saying we like as if I'm in it, but I'm just trying to like put it like I'm in that position, but it's yeah. not because it's a guy. That's what he's telling you. Yeah. yeah. So now it's like, okay, we're walking and then now it's like she's she's out of breath. She's fat. So it's like you've noticed that she used to be slimmer or whatnot and then yeah. now she's gaining weight. What do you do as like, hey, this is my friend. I want you to still be alive, but you're fat. <laughs> what do you do? Yeah. How do you say that as a guy? You're well, fat. He, because as a woman, sorry. it's like it's gonna be different. But as a guy, it's like, like I said, you can't be a woman. Um, you can't be a woman business. Myron Teller. <laughs> so what do you do? <laughs> well, number one, he fucked up because uh, he shouldn't be platonic friends with a woman anyway. But <laughs> yeah, that, that's a waste of his time. But the other thing, uh, yeah. But um, b- beyond that, since he's already stuck in the friend zone with this girl, yeah, he's just got to tell her even more so. You need to lose weight. You're fat. Straight up. <laughs> And and the thing is too is that you know it, uh, obesity. There are more fat women than there are fat men, by far. Mm-hmm. Sometimes you got to be direct. I feel like it's because of the fact March. that it's the body positivity, which is cool, and you know yeah, I'm that for plays it. A part in but it. it's like we care about your health. But then I've noticed it's like for other women who's in that position she as a body. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, I mean, Badass. it's so, like you're going to. Other woman that's in that position and not, you know, that is extra, you know, on the weight. It, it, they're going like, to it, they're going to cheer on one another, but it's like, okay, but what about your health? Here's the thing, and I only ask that because you know African American women are, are are chronically obese, like it's yeah. statistically proven at this point. So, yeah, man, I, it, he's just got to sit her down and be like, 
you're fat, you need to lose weight. Like because the, the the problem, the reason why so many women are fat because there are overwhelmingly more fat women than there are fat men is because women live in a Disney fairy tale a lot of the time. They're told if they're fat, they're not told to lose weight or anything. They're just told, oh, society should accept you no matter how fat you get. Body positivity, which honestly, body positivity is probably one of the worst things that's ever been put out. Like men, if a guy's fat, like no one sits there like, oh yeah, it's okay for you to be fat. It's like, nah, bro, you're fucking fat. You know what I'm saying? Like. The whole dad bod thing was a lie as well. You know what I'm saying? That was like kind of a try, but mm. there's no plus size models that are men. There's only plus size models that are women. Mm. So, you got a point. yeah, man, That's it's, true. he's got to tell her to lose weight. I, I I always say it's unacceptable to be fat. And that goes for both genders. If you're a fat woman, I'll take it a step further. If you're a fat woman, it's even worse because your values determine on how beautiful your beauty and being fat is a part, uh, uh, is a part of that. And I know that sounds horrible to say it like that, but a man's value is based on what can you create, how much money do you earn, and your status. status. A woman's mm -hmm. value is how beautiful are you. And your weight, unfortunately, is tied to that and weighs heavily. So if you're fat as a woman, you've effectively lowered your own value, which is stupid. A fat, wo a fat woman is like the equivalent to like a broke dude. Unless you are in Africa, in Nigeria. We like the big girls. Yeah, that's like a status symbol over there. Yeah. But yeah, in general, <laughs> in general, you know, men don't want fat women and, and a lot of guys that are uh, that are with fat women are with them not because they want to be but out of necessity they can't attract a higher a better looking woman all right body positivity is cap it's the most, worst thing i think to hit the west personally okay. so anything else no nah, well we i got, was saying uh city boys well fuck fat, fat asses so the same <laughs> <laughs> this nigga bro. and there is no bbd category it's only bbw hey. no. oh, okay, okay so it's a good we, point we we got a show tomorrow, yep. actually, with our boy PJ Kev. Um, it's gonna be a one-on-one -on -one interview with him and then some girls as well. Um, we got any more uh, any more chats? Yeah, give me one second. All right, cool. Um, and then where are we at? Uh, right here. Uh, okay. Oh, we read that one. Then we yeah. Shout out to uh, Elijah Tickborn. Thank you so much for that. Yeah, shout Life Abundance is is a funny YouTube channel. Go subscribe to them. So, uh, Ten dollars from Krell's ten. Ladies, enjoy your high value time while you're young. Once you reach thirty-five years old to forties, the chances of marriage drops to two point six percent, even to marry a beta. Holy shit! Right. And then, that. and then Friday we got six. Okay, so people want to know about six hundred breezy in the chat. He's coming on Friday, um. So shout out to him as well. All right. So, so, so tomorrow PJ Kev, and then Friday breezy, and then Saturday somebody else. But I can't say who. Oh shit! Yeah, oh, there you go. Shit. I don't even know. All right, all right, guys. All the ladies' Instagrams are below. Give them a follow, man. They were all really great sports. Yep. Um, and yeah, check them out. They got, uh, you know, some of the content creators, uh, business owners, everything like that. You know, check them out. Send your dick pics there if you want to shoot your shot. And uh, yeah, other than that, we appreciate it, guys. And then, uh, okay, what did the guy who hit the first night do differently than the guy who had to wait a couple nights or get curbed? They told you, bro, alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> so, guys, do us a quick favor. Like, like the, video. the video and then comment below for the algo. Thank you guys so much for the support. Love y'all. See you guys tomorrow. We're working every single day this week. Let's get it. Every Peace. day.